So what's going on, everybody? I'm sitting here, gritting, just painting out. Not much else going on today, other than this painting. Most of it is abstract. A lot of colors getting laid on top of other colors. Might have some guests popping in. Say hello. today. thinking about it being so squared off. <clears throat> it is also pretty chilly out here. Wah, 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 wah. Nobody said that out loud though. One time I was painting and the goddamn paint froze. Like went over and got some more paint and the shit was freezing on top. Maybe not freezing, but it was just so fucking like thick. You had to like sit there and whip it to get the uh, viscosity back up. yardstick not my yardstick I need my um, tape measure so I 
could use this. I don't want to use this. I want to use my tape measure. We're just gritting it. Um, I got this. So I'm just, I got a grid on here. So I'm just applying it to this. Just line up my shit. This is just rough. Like real. <clears throat> These are just rough forms. going through my head right now. Myrtle Beach. The Redneck Riviera. The place where they took down the Chinese balloon. That's just funny. I like Myrtle Beach. I used to live there for a little while. It's like I went from New York City to Queens. To Surfside and Myrtle Beach. Weird. Weird transition. That's where they took that, that giant balloon down. Oh, bad lacks some coffee. Get up and make that woman some coffee. Yo, what's going on, Jeremy? Gritting 
I'm doing the uh, the boring parts of this painting. Um, yeah. I don't know what to think about fucking last of us. Am I excited? Am I am I looking forward to fucking seeing this episode? Yeah, yeah, I am, but I'm looking at the fucking show sideways now a little bit. Like what the fuck is this show gonna be about? How fucked up is it? The more I think about it, they re- if, if this next episode, if they don't have fucking Ron Swanson showing up somehow, it's such a fucking waste and a stupid episode. Like, I want to send an invoice for that fucking hour of time. Just kidding. It's my choice. Watch it. Um, yeah, I think if this episode sucks, I'm probably just gonna bow out. Maybe fucking play the game. I don't know. Like, if the game is so awesome, which it is, it's supposed to be a uh, masterpiece. Might as well just play that instead of, the, instead of watch this bullshit show. It's not bullshit yet, man. They better fucking give me something good. Like, this fucking next episode better start off with like some bloaters. I don't even know what a fucking bloater looks like. I just keep hearing the fucking word bloater. It sounds good. We better have that motherfucker showing up. Five seconds into the show, I need some bloater. I need some fucking weird shit going down. I'm being a little dramatic, but. awesome so uh i got the canvas and i got it colored by the people and i got it delivered not next day but like two days so that was cool used to have to start with a canvas that was like you know just basic duck canvas and then i would have to paint a couple extra layers on it blah 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 um put in the grommets but uh with this company at a shy rack illinois they have a whole bunch of colors and uh i have a nice friendly relationship Give him a call. Tell him what I need. And they ship it to me. How big? They like this is the custom. Like you, you can't just get a twelve by twelve from them. You had to. Uh, it's like twelve by fifteen, ten by twelve. It's like all these. It's like every one but this one. So I had to get this custom, custom made. Which is all right. So, man, I would really love... And this one's going to be fucking easy, right? So there's just, like, a kind of a logo here. And maybe some logo like, right here. Right? But most of it is just fucking uh, patterns and textures and colors on top of other colors. So it's not going to be that hard. But what would be super awesome and challenging is to do like a CG one, like a comic skate, like alleyway, like you have the alleyway to Artist Alley, and then you have fucking maybe a giant painting, maybe you have, I don't know, it'd be cool to like start something, you know, have it say CG, comic skate or whatever, right? get Ethan's approval on it and then like just leave the space open so that people can come up and start drawing on it that would be fucking dope 
So that would mean painting it and then sealing it so that it has like a nice, nice, uh, nice smooth layer for everybody to draw on with uh, sharpies or whatever. Maybe have cyber frog in it. That would be cool. Do cyber frog with his arms around the word comics gate and then have everybody else come up and add their little their little uh, veggie to the stew. Their little chunk of meat. Even though I stretch and I drink plenty of water, I'm definitely gonna feel this tomorrow. Uh, ain't no young man no more. Plus what they want, I have in my other garage, I have a large wall that I could hang this from. But the style that they want, it's just more like on the floor texturing. Not as bad as the live golf stuff. Golf stuff was just like black and white and gray. That shit was fucking depressing a little bit. I can make it fun. So they're not gonna use those. Um, I think they're gonna still use the paintings, but uh, Live Golf is gonna start using this giant fucking monitor screen. stop how about this wow that sounds like that shit doesn't it Fucking feeding ducks, man. That's all I can deal with. All right, like and share if you enjoy watching uh, paint dry. You know, when I'm listening to the ducks, I can't tell if somebody's booping into the fucking booping into the show or not. Boop, 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 boop. What else? I don't know. Man, my fucking back, my back. Ow. No, not my back. Who's that? Who's that? What do you say?
Why are you restricted? Aluminum ladder. Yeah, I got one. It's all right. This is okay. Unless you guys don't want to watch. <clears throat> and you know, I don't, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, Because, again, it's abstract. It's abstract. Yeah, I don't mind getting down on the ground to get this shit done. It's like, wow, did that? Did you guys print that? It's like, nah, some motherfucker painted that shit. He put ten extra years on his knees for this shit. chat. Let's see. It'd be funny to talk about some fudge. <laughs> That's always interesting and fun to talk about. We could talk about how much we love comics and talk about how upset we are about She-Hulk, which I'm not, I don't care. But I would like to talk about some fudge. Nothing like fudge you didn't make. Shadow band. Mm. 
no guests so far in this fine, fine Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, actually. So yeah, yeah, you know, people are probably doing shit with their families. I did stuff with my family yesterday. Went to a birthday party. It was fun. It was a little guy's birthday party. Don't say his name, but you know what I mean. He was uh, the family. It's fun. First met the little guy. I think he was like three, five now. Really has uh, changed. He matured. He's like a little little guy. What's up, buddy? He's like Spider Man. So I um. I brought him some comic books. None of this like modern shit. I like went back and like got him. Uh, I got him uh, some of that Ringo, Ringo Spider Man. I got him some old Eric Larson Spider Man, some Sinister Six. I got him uh, X Men number eleven, Jim Lee's X Men. I got him. Dude, like, I don't think this kid realized, like, the stack of comic books that I, I gave him. With no backing, no bags. Just straight, like, here, man, here's some comic books to read. Like, in, enjoy. And his little face lit up when he saw those Spider-Man comic books. And that was dope. So the key is to get them interested when they're young you know get them to be like oh man comic books are the shit and that'll be a future customer future creator who knows who who knows hopefully you know Hopefully he's not reading comic book when he's fucking chopping up people. sit here and talk about myself I don't want to say anything about the painting and who the painting is for until the painting is gone I can only imagine fucking somebody with no time trying to tag these people or email them do you know your artist is comic skate Man, that shit was crazy. So I saw a clip of a little Brazilian chick, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where the fuck she came from. Skin like, uh, skin like mocha. She, uh, 
she uh, was talking shit to another girl, another woman, outside of a bus. They were dressed. I don't know. It didn't seem appropriate. I don't, I don't know what the context of the situation was. But one girl is like walking around with her ass out, and then the other girl is got no pants on. So, the one, so they start talking shit. One starts talking shit about prostitution being a sin. And uh, and then the other one sm- gives her a little, little scoop of lip. And that's when the one chick, she starts fucking doing a Jenga. Like she starts doing like some capoeira shit. And then fucking does a two leg sweep and just body slams this other girl. Just both of them half ass naked. Going full MMA on asphalt. It's a pickle. Speculating. I don't don't know. I don't know what the situation was. Maybe... Yeah, I don't know. You know, they both seem to be doing something. Maybe dancing. And one of them was taking the relationship further than necessary, maybe? Because why would you be prostitution? I don't know, man. Like, why would you have your ass out, too? So that's why I'm thinking maybe they're strippers or... Seems a pretty raunchy, like, I'm going out. Look at my dress, I'm going out. Like, I've seen some of those. This looked like... Looked like a little more. Anyways. So, also, what's up? Is my is my father in law? Hey, what's going on, Steve? Let's say, so they're going to be rebooting Stargate. Who do you think should be the commander? Do you think they should bring back Russell Crowe? Not Russell Crowe, uh, Kurt Russell? Um, I think he was good. Um, I'm not up on all the cards. Actors? Be like, just bring back, just bring back MacGyver. Relaxing in Malibu, guarding the actual true Stargate.
He's a Stargate fan. That's my step. That's my stepdad. That's my father-in-law. No guests. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll do this all alone. Change out my jammies you until three. Oh yeah. Oh he's coming down for his tapioca. Yeah, he's cool. He's super cool. Just a badass vet engineer. He's a good guy. He's a good shoot, too. I know this is so fucking boring. I'm sorry. Let's put on some music. What night driving? That's not bad. Oh, I got somebody finally. Hey, hey, bud. How you doing? What's up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> All right. I had to, uh, I was outside with the kiddo and then we ate some pizza. So. <laughs> pizza, pizza. How's that? So Good. You shout, yeah, getting some pizza. Yeah, actually, I I, uh, I just heated up some some uh, old Pizza Hut. That was my pizza. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking love cold pizza. Like, hot pizza is good, but fucking cold pizza is is dope. It's like it's all like congealed together, and it's all like yeah, like just formed a nice sauce. Like all the the uh, greases have joined, you know. You can like just grab the piece and walk around it and eat it around your house while you're just like walking around doing shit. <laughs> you don't have to yeah, worry about dude. it. It's apart. like the perfect <laughs> meal, dude. It's just like, oh, let me wake up. It's already there. You got your meats, your veggies, some bread going on. Uh, shit. I forgot something upstairs. Are you? You're, you're, I want you to talk to the chat for for like two minutes. Sure, man. Okay. Please. If we got in here, hey guys, Ray, what's up, Ray? Past Master Dan, always a pleasure to see you, my dude. What you guys up to on this Sunday? <clears throat> hey, some person, Mr. 
Mr. Solomon. Appreciate you coming on by. Jeremy, what's up, dude? If you're still here, welcome, welcome. Always nice to see you guys. That's going to be a big piece. This thing's pretty dang big. <laughs> Past Master Dan, I remember it had to do a series of six snow cone sheds in the blazing Texas sun. Oh, man. Monday a.m. for us, clearing out the inbox. Ooh, yeah, it's a Sunday afternoon for me. I took the kiddo outside. We played for a bit with the kiddo and the dog and Kind of burned out some of that energy because she's super uh, she's super hyper now she's watching shows and eating crackers so i think i think that's a win I'm trying to do this uh, layout this robin hood piece for my wife her favorite uh, disney movie is uh, disney robin hood it's fox so that's what we're working on right now 80s what's up man dude i woke up this morning with a headache dude, what time did you end up going to bed Twitter? you guys were still chatting by the time i left i think that's like 5 30. <laughs> hope your uh sunday morning is going good man that was a fun stream last night if you guys have not subscribed to 80s made i know it's a lot of the same faces in there but if you haven't checked them out awesome channel make sure you check it out streams every Monday. We watch a movie on Monday. Uh, Thursdays, we talk about comics, and then Saturdays, whatever. 7 a.m., hot damn, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Being texted. Also, if you guys get a chance to check out MightyBotStudio.com, that's where you can catch all my junk, and also check out my store, where I'm putting, uh, putting t-shirts up. Gotta work on some stickers. We got some mug stuff going on. Seems like I never have enough time to put the ideas down that I want. I don't know if I'm like this. Just trying, trying to have the castle, like, to see the castle from in between the floor. But it's uh, looking kind of weird. I'm not liking it so far. I'm trying to not make it look like a, a thought bubble. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun stream last baby. That was good to have. Like, had some, he had some ideas, but no, like, actual, like, subjects that I knew was tied to. I was blessed, man. Okay, some branches. One or two branches here chilling. Maybe. Because I did leaves around it, but otherwise, not like, that you can see too much what I'm doing. But. Yeah, Ray, you got to catch the replay of that stream. It was a good one. What did I miss? What's up, man? What's up, buddy? Just talking talk about 80 stream. Hey, Jay, what's up, man? What's going on, J-Bot? What about 80's stream? <laughs> Man, we, we uh, I'm trying to think when it ended, and then we started shooting the shit till like uh, 5.30, and I guess they stopped chatting like at like 7. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's a little late. Yeah. A little out. late? That's not even late anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I crashed out like at like 1.30 or 2. I was tired. I didn't. That's why I didn't jump in. Good one. He got pretty crazy. <laughs> so the back one was probably the most fun part. Was it? I said the back room is probably the most fun part after the stream. <laughs> Usually is, actually. So what's the size of that thing, Matt? 12 by 12. 
Ooh. Is this for the XFL? Nah. This is for uh, something else. Okay. For none of you. It's for fucking none of you. It's, uh, it's a it's for a female pro sports media company. Pro oh. female sports. Yes. I'm pro female sports. Small it's sports. pro female sports. Yes, they are. I Small would sports. say pro natural woman sports. No, I'm for it. It's dare I dare I I don't know what they're thinking, but it's you know they're they're not uh, highlighting any um, transitioned females. Right, right. They're only they're only dealing with um, natural born killers. Females. Oh, females. Uh-huh. Natural born <laughs> killers. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah, notice you're feeding them ducks, man. Should I fuck the ducks? No, no. They need life. They need sustenance. Billy hates them is all, but he's not going to be here, so it's fine. Nah, he's not going to be here from his uh, his couch, maybe. Yeah, he'll be listening in on his couch and he'll be like, oh, them ducks. And <laughs> <laughs> going on a ducks. Ducks, eh? Woo woo, fat ducks, woo woo. <laughs> yeah, I tried playing uh, my iTunes one, a couple times, but it's, I guess it's just too loud. People really couldn't hear me, even though it was like turned down as low as I could probably get it. So I, was uh-huh. like, I, can't, I can't do that. Because I don't care if I get struck. I don't care if I get a yeah. copyright claim. So. You don't? No, man, I don't care. I I, I wanna, want people to listen to some good tunes. The yeah, worst thing, they'll just put their their ad on it. That's the worst thing that'll happen. Yeah, well, it was, it, I mainly played... Uh, I mean, they're copyrighted songs, obviously, but they're not insanely well-known, so it's not like they're going to put an ad on it, but I did promote the band. I'm like, yeah, go listen mm. to them. Go check them out. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So. Mm. I show my love, man. I show my love. I'm, I wear it on my sleeve. Yeah. It's my crotch. My I wear my I wear my my heart on my crotch. I wear it on, right on the crotch, right on the. Right, I wear mine on my taint. I, <laughs> I ride mine. I ride my emotions. <laughs> like a cowboy. Like a cowboy. On a steel taint, I ride. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unwanted. Nobody knows my name. <laughs> uh, John I walk these streets. I say, have you bought my book? They say, who the fuck are you? I say, I'm at bar. Matt bar. Matt bar. They go, so what? I go, fuck you anyways. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You got now. You got your intro, man. Look at that. I say fuck you <laughs> if you don't mind my books. <laughs> yeah, that's a good message. To <laughs> Do you want to buy my books? No. <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> really wish you would. I'm gonna give you a second chance. <laughs> gonna give you a second chance. To buy my book, but if you don't, then fuck you. <laughs> You're gonna get so many sales. <laughs> yep, dude. I that's not me singing. That was uh, that was John Bon, John Bon Jovi, fucking bon John. Yeah, bon yeah, yeah. Bon John, John. Who's who's the guy? Uh, you know, the man on the moon. He had like a, a fucking fake person that he he, he used. Andy Kaufman. Yeah, Andy Kaufman had like a fucking guy that he was like, yeah, I'm fucking, yeah, I'm fucking so so. Ah, I'm so so, uh, you fucks. Fuck Tony, you. Cl- and like, Tony, Tony, Tony Clifton. Clifton. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I, need, I, need a, I need a fucking Tony Clifton. <laughs> that would be sweet, dude. 
Let me tell you something. Matt Barr, he wants M&Ms, and he only wants green ones. He needs <laughs> a bag of green M&Ms for the job. Pe- peanut M&Ms. I don't know if we could do that. Fuck you. <laughs> he needs them. And then I get on the phone. I go, that's fucking crazy. I don't understand what this guy's problem is. Look, I understand that circus peanuts only come in one color. Like, I, I don't know why he was... <laughs> <laughs> Look, they come in orange. It's not a big deal. My guy, yeah, I know. No, wait, he wanted don't they you make... to get fucking black ones and they don't make them. Don't they make multicolored circus peanuts? I don't know. Do they? I thought they did. <laughs> what the fuck? Doesn't that fuck up the flavor? Chat? Dude, there's no flavor to circus peanuts. It's styrofoam. There is a flavor. It's there's the no memory. Flavor. It's it's the memory of banana. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that flavor is. It's not banana. It's, hey, you remember what banana tastes like? Like, that's what it tastes like. Like this faint fucking memory. Yeah, that's why it's awful. Like the fart of a banana. Fart of yeah. Banana. Taste, it's like if somebody lingers, sprayed the, banana. The lingering. <laughs> it's banana, I think. Maybe. <laughs> is this supposed to be banana? I just thought it was just yeah. pure vomit. <laughs> Circus vomit. Circus vomit. Clown vomit. That's what they taste like. Clown vomit. If, if, if a clown were to spew massive chunks, they would come out in the form of circus penis and they wash off the excess water. And that's what you're eating. You're eating the chunks from the clown uh, vomit. Hot. Mm. Like a, is it a happy clown? No, At least. no, Fuck, sad, man, sad clown, man, Fuck, sad clown. dude, yeah. not the sad hobo clown. It's the sad dude. hobo clown. It's worse than shakes, dude. Let me tell you, can I, can I tell you some dark, some dark, uh, family secrets right now? Hit me some dark evil shit. My grandmother, after my father, my, after my grandfather left her for the Korean woman that he brought back with her, mm-hmm. that he brought back with him. Because he was in the military, he was like military intelligence, and so he went to like Korea and uh, brought back Susie. Mm-hmm. And so he like ended up leaving leaving my grandma. So she was in this house alone, and she got like real like collectible weirdo shit, right? Like like grandma shit. Like she suddenly got into like spoons, and she had like <laughs> just hundreds of fucking spoons, right? And then in the living room. Uh, it was just fucking clowns, dude. Nothing but clouds. It was the most fucked up. Like even as a kid, I was like, yeah, I don't like going in there, dude. Like because I'm not it was f- like it was like yeah. it was like plates. Like oh, collectible annual Petridge Farm plates or whatever the fuck. And did she you have like the saying? porcelain ones and stuff? Yes, like dude. Oh, dude. Yes, porcelain figurines. Oh, porcelain no, fucking. No, no. Um, it was fucking disturbing dude and like it wasn't like oh hey i'm bozo the clown it was like weird creepy fucking clowns man like, like, like hobo clown yes <laughs> yeah yeah That's, man like, like i'm not nah, someone man. who's afraid of clowns but yeah. those things are creepy like they just are those scary like those porcelain ones or like the hobo doll ones and yeah dude like, like that's not wrong with you that's somebody hiding something yes you know what i mean like you're yeah. not trying to entertain me you're trying to fucking be sneaky yeah, you're hiding mm-hmm. something. You fucker. <laughs> you, you're hiding secrets. So yeah, man. So that's what... And I was just like... I had no idea what happened to all that shit when she passed away. But, um... Oh, you, she didn't will it to you? Dude. <laughs> that would have been like... Fucking... Taken, I would have just been like a big box of shit being taken down to the range. She actually did will it to you. Fucking blowing, she was just blowing up fucking clowns all week. She did will it to you. They're secretly walking their way towards your house as we speak. They, they're all alive. <laughs> they're, they're alive. Like the, 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 bar. <laughs> the porcelain ones have like cracked open and they go over and they're like grabbing the plates and they're all fucking like walking. So there's like three or four little like porcelain clowns carrying a fucking porcelain plate and the and the image on the porcelain plate is like, yes, yes, go north, go north, north, east, yes, yes, go north, go north, go 
Come on. Do it. We sense his essence. You're wasting time. Yeah. <laughs> we smell his essence. His essence. Essence. <laughs> Quiet! Daddy, are those so cute? Quit your whippering! Not not your child, not not your ex. No, no, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it was kind of bad time. Little kid, because you're quiet, child! (laughs) Shut up! (laughs) Quit your whippering! We're getting bars essence! Because you're talking about your essence. And oh, you're, it's turning me on. But you're like, I give women my time, but I never share my essence. Remember I that shit from Dr. Strangelove? My it's, essence. It's basically like, yes, I'll be with a woman, but I'll never... Everyone's going to hate me. Uh, wait, oh, Dr. Strangelove, never mind. I'm thinking, I'm like, everybody's going to hate me. I don't like James Bond. No, Dr. Strangelove, I like. That was good. Yeah, dude, Dr. Strangelove is dope. Because he's yeah, like, it is. women, they'll, they'll take your fluids. Oh, man, nice. that's all their other woman. He's like, I have right. to watch it again. It's been I'll so give him my time. I'll give him. I'll give him my time, but I'll never give him my essence. Do you understand your essence. your your bodily fluids? It's like, what? What is he fucking? Talking about? <laughs> I remember seeing that shit as like a little kid. Just be like, what? It's uh the same director that did The Shining and Kubrick, two thousand one. Yeah. yeah, it's a Kubrick. Yeah, I haven't seen it in years though, dude. I gotta, I gotta watch it again. It's a Cooper. It's a Cooper. It's a Cooper. I, I it's didn't a like Cooper. Eyes, I didn't like Eyes Wide Shut though. That was not a good movie. Could have been better. Yeah, they needed more banging. I thought, you know. Not dude, enough. hey, I will talk <laughs> about some shit. Here we go. Now that we got some fucking uh, got some people, <laughs> now that we got some people, I could talk about some shit. Yo. Somebody came to me with the um, like and share if you guys want to. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, hit them thumbs up. Like and share, thumbs up. Give it, give, give my uh, yeah, subscribe if you're not. Thumb and, yeah. yeah, subscribe. Uh, somebody was like, "Yo, man, did you see that fucking Zach like eyes wide shut shit?" Right, and I what? was like, "What?" Right, like somebody was like describing uh, Zach's video that he was in as right. um, eyes wide shut. <laughs> <laughs> right? that's and I was like, oh no. Because I, I, I'd i seen Eyes Wide Shut recently, right? I was like, yeah, I haven't seen that in a while. Let me, let me check that out. And so I was like watching it. And uh, and so I was just like, oh, fucking no, man. And um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. No, it, no. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I heard about it. And it's not. The, the Eyes Wide Shut is jacked up, man. It's like massive. Insane orgies. <laughs> yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I, I was like, oh shit. I was like, shut. Really? I've seen that movie. I know. Like, oh my god, what's gonna go? What's gonna go down? And then when I saw the fucking clip, I was like, man, that's like three people in a fucking warehouse. Like, that's a Wednesday. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, please, that's that's freshman year at fucking, <laughs> fucking art school. You know what I mean? Like, give yeah, me a break, exactly. dude. yeah. Yeah, it's amateur hour, dude. But I did see it and was like, ugh. ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch uh, it. I didn't watch uh, it. I just heard about it. I didn't watch it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I was like, oh, macaroni, yeah. hell, shit. <laughs> Not that I'm ever going to bring it up with him, but no, no, it's no. funny. As soon as I saw it, I was like, holy, holy. <laughs> Jumping jumping horse effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumping Jehoshaphat. <laughs> I have no idea what that's from. I don't know. Jehoshaphat. I've heard it plenty of times, though. Plenty of times. <laughs> because tonight, tonight, tonight. Oh. Man, Bill Collins was like fucking like way cooler than he looked. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yo, man, listen to his shit. Like you listen to his music. You're like this motherfucker is like he knows some stuff. Yeah, like, he's uh, he's from the streets. Yeah, you know what I mean, he's got some fucking times. street cred. Yeah, he's got. He's, got, like, he's probably in the air tonight. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, dude. 
Yeah. He's got some bodies, you know? And yeah, then you, does. like, see him, and you're like, what the fuck? No, I mean, if you see him, it looks like he has buried some <laughs> bodies. But <laughs> you see, yeah, like a fucking creepy-ass fucking grave digger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking Harold and Kumar fucking freak show with a haircut. Harold and Kumar. <laughs> is that I what their it. name is? K- Harold and Kumar? Well, yeah. I mean, that's their names from that movie. Harold and Kumhard? Go to a white castle. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah, up in I that like white Phil castle. Collins. I, like, I actually like Phil Collins. I think he's a. I, I do like too. I do too. I like I'm not knocking him. I'm just... I like Genesis. It's a good band. Yeah. You know, you killed the radio star. He he uh, wasn't really going to be the singer. They just found out he could sing, and so it just happened to be that way. I think uh, Peter Gabriel was like, "I'm out." Peter Gabriel sang for Genesis. Yeah, they used to be. Yeah, they used to be in the band. Yeah, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, Phil Collins was like interviewing, trying to get the singers, and he couldn't find nobody. And they're like, "Dude, like, why don't you just fucking do it?" He's like, ah, I guess I will. <laughs> and the world has never been the same since. Neither has nope. American Psycho. <laughs> Phil Collins. Man, what a fucking... Not, I mean, the book is fucked up. But, I mean, I, the movie is fucked up, but the book, dude, is I got. I gotta get, like, the audio book for it and listen to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, I remember just, like, being on the subway train and reading it and just, like, looking around at the around me like <laughs> fucking sickos <laughs> you not like sick not like sons. oh my god I'm, I'm gonna kill one of these people i was like these fucking psychos there's <laughs> these all these are all crazy people somebody's trying to make sausage out of me i can feel it yeah. now i know that's not the whole point of the book or the movie but do you think he actually was killing all those people uh yeah yeah, yeah i do, I do. Too. I do too. I think it works better that way if he actually did kill him. Like, I know it's more or less a a point of the American culture of the 80s and the, you know, disfranchising and blah, 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 whatever. There's that big message there, but... Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, he killed those people. No, I think he did. And you know what? If you've read any of this dude's other books, you'll find out that... (laughs) The dude's brother, Patrick Bateman's brother, is in another book called Rules of Attraction. Really? Yeah. Like, if you've seen that movie, there's a movie uh, with Rules of Attraction. I have and, not. And um, that's Patrick Bateman's younger brother. And so there's, like, a fucking... Uh, there's, like, a passage in the book where, like, the brother, like, sees a drop of red on his brother's fucking suit or something like that. It's been a long time since right. I since I read it, but there was like there was like a tell, you know, that you was right. like, oh shit, like, like you got a little sloppy. Yeah, well, just like yo, there's a drop of blood on his fucking shirt, you know. I mean, as opposed know, to like, and and Patrick, then at the end you're like, oh, what the fuck. But Patrick Bateman is a pretty clean, you know, organized, methodical individual. So, like, him having any kind of trace of anything on him would make would be a little sloppy move. Maybe. But, you know, a drop of blood isn't... Um... Well, no, it could be from your nose or something. But, true, true. Uh, yeah, he's usually pretty uh, clean. Like, like, when he goes back to that apartment to clean it up, you don't belong here. Yeah, that was weird. I mean, that was if, weird. if she, like... That's the one part. Like, if I, if I he think, was really using that place as like a fucking slaughterhouse, like what I think, and now mind you, this is theory, and uh, they don't tell you this, but I think his dad covered it up. I think his oh. dad went in, cleaned up the place, and is then getting rid of the place. Because mm. his dad yeah. owns the company, you know, and if his son yeah. gets caught killing people, it's not gonna look good. You're right. I know I'm right. Pretty smart. You are. You are. <laughs> Very humble man. Humblest guy in the room. Humblest guy in the stream right here. Right here. Uh, you want a second. Uh... Oh, my God. Baby? I'm sorry. What? What, what happened? 
No, no, there's, like a, there's a little computer. person. I'm, I'm hearing a, 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 a little person while we're yeah, singing. Yeah, a little person. Singing. It's adorable. It is. It is. It is. I just want to, you know. Talking, talking crazy smack. Why did the music stop? Music still. I mean, if you want to call that music. This is, dude, I have this on my phone, actually. I listen to it while I'm at work. I actually don't. Do, 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 do. You good? I'm good. What's going on? Hey, I see, I see, uh, Mr. Patrick Parnell. Yo, what's up, PTP? It's good to see you there. Jay, how are you? Dude, we got a booby rancher. Oh, boob rancher, what's up, man? Boob rancher? Yeah. Dee dee button doodle dee doo. Okay. So. Sending a text. I'm sorry. Are you? I I am actually. I, I respect you, Bar. Have I earned it? Yes. I appreciate. It. What else? XO 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 XO. Gonna be a rhythm of the night. Gonna touch you through the morning night. Gonna touch that Jason's little butt. Uh, I'm, I don't know. How, well, I really don't have a butt, man. So I mean, I guess can you put my eyes? Got firm hands, up? Jason. Oh yes, sir. I'll make an ass out of you yet. <laughs> hey, cool. You That's so now, cute. That little voice was cute. Yeah, That's your cool. voice is adorable. Little that. person. <laughs> is that all that potential in a tiny little package. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to, she's trying to play games on my iPad, but they keep trying to charge her for shit. And I'm like, oh, no. Okay, there you go, baby. Oh, yeah, see, I'm, doing, I'm doing using my finger for measurements. Yes. Finger it, Bar. Finger it. Finger it all night. Mm. I was pulling a little Cardi B. Yeah. Cardi B, like a dance move? I, I, I was looking at my uh, comic page. I wasn't watching you, I'm sorry. Lame. I know, man, I'm terrible. I really I really put on this kind of performance. I know, uh, how dare I work on my comic. I'm sorry. It should be, should be. It was pretty solid, pretty solid. What comic are you working on? Froggy. Froggy. I do have to. Long. Oh, yeah. Uh, halfway. I'm almost halfway done with the line art. Um, uh, page 22 so mm. uh, out of 48 out of but, 48 uh, pages 48 pager and you can but, find uh, that on Indiegogo uh, only on Indiegogo as of right now uh, it just you you can't really type it in so if you go to BascomJason.com it'll pop up mm. are you under Re the shadow banning shenanigans dude I was one of the first couple ones that was shadow banned like, uh, I'll talk about like, shit. I don't give a fuck. It's no, my it was, channel. It was There's like, been it like was... some back chatter. There's been some backroom chatter with Vicky's name getting thrown around. Like, I don't like know. maybe she's the one doing a lot of the flagging and like alerting uh, Indiegogo about what's what's going on. Yeah, but or, like, even perceived if she is, flag. even if she is, Indiegogo could be like, look, they're creators. They have a right to have their stuff on our platform, no matter what. Like it all boils down to Indiegogo. It, it, you know they don't have to sit there and do it but yeah, yeah it was Tommy Mark play. Shane me like we were one of the first few like in the recently like I know uh, what uh, 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 what was, what's that one uh, Ron Klaus has uh, Terror in the Trenches yeah that was like yeah that was one of the first few obviously too and so yeah it's, it's been going on uh, Terror in the Trenches dude. the fucking uh, American yeah private, uh, American. private American yeah it's been going on a while man but uh, that's but what I'm I, like, saying. Going on a while, so it's like it's you know. I, I don't it, know. Yeah, is it somebody like in the, somebody yeah, is alerting, and so suddenly her name is the one that's being fucking. Yeah, but that's like, all I'm saying. Now I'm playing devil's advocate. That's all. Please, accusation. please, 
please. That's accusation, yeah. like you can't prove it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, so. we're speculating and shit right now. Like, So I'm wondering, like, how would you know that it was somebody? And how would you, you would, be able to tell? You wouldn't be, you, know? you would have to get them to admit it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Unless you get, like, an IP mm-hmm. server or something, or to hack into Indiegogo's emails. I don't know, dude. There's really no way of finding that kind of stuff out, but... What we got to do is just find our best ways to circumvent it. Like I attached my my personal email or my personal website is now just sends you straight to Frog G. Like I don't even have a website now. Inkspots is setting up one for us total. But as of right now, it's the best way to redirect people because at least you could type that in and it'll go right to it. So, I mean, but then again, you have to know my first and last name and know, know to put it in reverse order because somebody else has JasonBaskin.com. Mm graphic designer I gotta take him down graphic fucking fuck boy stupid and he is the same name as you <laughs> let me tell you dude i meet somebody named matt bar and my first thought is can i beat the fuck out of this person yeah and, and they're let's say they're also like a wood carver they're a creator like they're, they're yeah creator. it's like how what no that's me remember a couple of years ago him, i like do i absorb his powers Dude, that pops into my head too. I'm like, yo, there could be only one. There could be only one bar. There could be only one <laughs> Matt Bar. <laughs> yo, there's only, you know, I got Matt Bar. There's another Matt Bar I know for sure that I'm like, hmm, I gotta wait for that motherfucker to die. And that's the, uh, oh, the NFL player. There's an NFL Matt- player named Matt Bar? Yeah, uh, Matt Bar and Chris Bar. Really? Uh, they don't play anymore. They were tired, they were uh, kickers. They were uh, football kickers. Oh, so if they're retired, they're kind of up there in age, huh? That's what I'm saying, dude. They're like, oh yeah, they're, yeah. they're like in their like 60s right now, but like still, no, nah, maybe oh, not 60s, ticking. like late 50s, but still uh-huh. like late 50s. That's like uh, that's, that's, like that's hard attack man yeah. yeah, that's, that's like that's, old man strength right there. Like that's yeah, still like fucking him. formidable. Yeah, you could get, you could take them. Hmm. I could wait Did on those. My... Did I break my nib? I have a bad habit of breaking nibs. You tell him, kid. But yeah, uh, so we just have, like, if you have a website and you're shadow banned, that's the best way to go about it, I think, is to redirect. Mm. Makes it easier. They fucking blew up that balloon over uh, Myrtle Beach. Oh, that, uh, oh they that did? Kami, that Kami balloon? Yeah. Fucking Biden came out and was like, yo, I told him to blow that shit up fucking days ago. And they waited until it was over water. Well, what the fucking bullshit lie is that, dude? Like, I mean, don't you, you want to tell them to blow it up, water? dude? Or they would have. If the president, if the commander in chief was like, yo, blow that fucking shit up. That shit would be fucking gone, you know? Or, I mean, that's the <laughs> the fucking the theory behind it, right? Yeah, but don't you want to wait till it's over waters? So that way it doesn't, like, hurt anybody? This motherfucking balloon went all the way across the country. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> hey, do we stop the burglar? No, let's wait for him to walk all the way through our fucking house while he's fucking leaving, and then we'll call the cops. Like... He's already fucking taking whatever they want and like already like uh, signaled it back, you know. Got your point. Yeah, I'm sure they could find something that could have eviscerated it like decently enough to not cause, or wait till it's like over, I don't know, a like desert plain or something like that, you know, just like. Dude, there's mad parts of the fucking country that are just forest. Yeah, well, I don't. It might cause a fire though. Maybe. I mean, that's why we have the fucking whole government involved. Because there should be the whole government involved. You know what I mean? Like, National Guard. Um, Somebody suggested, because I wish this was my idea, but somebody was like, yo, just hit that shit with the laser and pop a couple holes in the balloon and let it slowly fucking drift down. Do we really know if it was a balloon? Like, is that 100%? I think they've already picked it up, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but like, like, does anybody like a civilian been like, yeah, man, that's a balloon. Like, I mean, they, people have seen it and people have taken photos of it, and it looked like a balloon. Yeah, it, it looked like a balloon with a uh, space 
with the International Space Station hanging from the bottom of it. That's suspect. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, that's what I was like. At first, when I saw it, I was like, is that the fucking space station? Like, in front of the moon? Like, what the fuck am I looking at here? And it was like, oh, that's a giant fucking balloon with a, a undercarriage of this, like, whole fucking lattice of shit. And you're like, oh, well, I wonder how big it is. And then they're like, yeah, the balloon is like three buses long or three, you know, three buses wide. Cool. So it's, it's fucking huge, you know? What, I, who knows what it is? I mean, it could just be fucking... I don't know. I don't know what, what it could be. So I don't want to speculate too much. But I do like to speculate, like, maybe it could have been a nuke. Did they, like, did they know that it was on its way? Or did they just suddenly realize, holy shit, we got a balloon in the middle of the country? That, that would be an interesting How did it question. get that far? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> How did it get that far? Like somebody's, you're suddenly in Montana, and somebody's like, yo, what? It's like... Oh shit, you didn't even like knock on the door. You just came and sat down on the couch. Like, hey, what's what's, what's going on? I hope you're not here to fucking rob and kill me. <laughs> Get Red Dawn up in here. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Wolverines! Wolverines! <laughs> First Red Dawn. Say? Not, not, not remake. Not remake. I'm still on blue, yeah. Caught on blue. Blue. Yeah, there, it's gonna be it's gonna be lots of different blues for for a little bit. First couple of layers. Is is tree helping you with that one? No, no, because uh, I only have this one painting to do. Oh, okay. If if I had a couple of paintings, I I I would have called him. Yeah. And had him do the grid work. Have him do the the, the the not fun stuff. Um, you could say that. You could you could I, describe I it that. like that, or I, you I could describe, describe it as a learning experience. <laughs> you know, sounds like you're using a young man for your own benefits. No, I had I had seven paintings, and. He just came over and did the grid work and like a little bit of like helping me with the brushes and I think I gave him like a hundred bucks per painting. Nice. It's not bad, dude. So it was, I appreciated him him doing this so that I wouldn't have to. I know. I'm just I'm just busting your coconuts. Yeah. What else am I here for? You're that's that's all you're here for. Just to bust all my balls. For. Yeah, that's it. I'm not here for my good looks or my talent. Because I don't have either one of those. Whew, I know. <laughs> uh, you're here for my good looks, right? Right. Yeah. Says the uh, the thing. <laughs> hey man, he got that blind chick, and she was hot. Dude, because she could like mold him a little clay winger and and uh, and stick it on him. What, for protection? I mean, he has one. Does it? Does he? I would think so. His flesh... Why didn't his teeth and eyeballs turn into rock? Right. Or his tongue. Right. At least with the, the one fast Fantastic Four movie, it, it kind of was doing that. Like it yeah, because him, like, they even, all crystallize and shit. Because like even when uh, they did the X-ray of him or whatever, like his heart is like a rock and it's like going. Yeah. But like his eyeballs and his teeth are normal. <laughs> They're all wet and normal. Maybe it's just like his derma. You know, it's just like your outer derma. It could but be then, like not like he needs it for his muscles too. Because if you have just like normal muscles and like this crazy thick fucking skin, you'd be. You'd be like laying on the ground, right? You need that whole top to well, bottom. It could also be on a slight, like a very small molecular level. Each one is like a rock format, or maybe even like a geo. Um, what what are those uh, crystallized? Uh, geo, are they geodes, right? Geodes. Uh, yeah, like like a geode. Yeah. But like it, so that way, it's like a different te looking texture, even though 
it's still rock. <laughs> so then his 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 his, his um, naughty bits then would still be rock formation. Like he still would have them. Yeah. So he wouldn't need anything made out of clay. It would look like I'm. T- oh, all right. But I'm assuming he, that he like it just like went kin. You know what I mean? Like his his fucking right. like his eyebrows like it just all like fucking shriveled yeah, up hair. or like t- turned like yeah. But that's hair. Like I can see him. Like the, the question is then though is the is the naughty bit smooth or is it like jagged rocks? Like so, so it's like it's like multiple stalactites <laughs> yeah, sticking <dude>. out. <laughs> Ah, I love Comics. If Stanley wasn't here, we could ask him. We could ask. He'd be like, "Why are you asking these fucking questions?" That's the thing. He's just he's, he's, he's like, uh, smoke cigars, yeah. they have drugs. He's like, uh, "How old are you?" <laughs> Forty-four. Forty-four. <laughs> ah, fuck! Ah. I'm, I, fought, I've, I fought in a war, guy. What do you <laughs> fucking care, <laughs> dude? Because it's like okay, so um, let me uh, let me check. I'm waiting for a delivery. Let me check my phone. But like uh, I'm, I I I had a sumo meeting with Stanley once. Hit us. And um, it was at the New Orleans. It was at the New Orleans uh, Wizard Con, and I I got real close to him. Right, I got into like the VIP area. To, uh, and people like ask him questions and um dude, people were like hey, what's your favorite pokemon <laughs> he was like what uh, uh i don't know about pokemon but let me tell you about peter parker golly gee, he just had the best time you know he had the world you know and he just like goes into this fucking like uh canned reply about like you know, who do I like the best? You know, it's be like, what do you think about the new Hunger Games? Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I don't know, but Thor, I love Thor because he's so strong and he's got that hammer. <laughs> you know, we've always wondered if we were saying that word right. Okay, next question. I've always wondered if you're saying that. <laughs> you know, it is like, oh man, this poor fucking guy. They got him walking around like weekend at Bernie's. Like signing his name on shit, he doesn't even know what he's signing. That was a bummer. That sucks. And they were like, a- "Hey man, do you want to meet him?" And I was like, uh, "I don't know. I really would like him to go take a fucking nap, honestly." Yeah. Dude. And, then, and it was like, Great. "Would you ask him something?" I'm like, no. I'd ask him if he'd like to be left alone. <laughs> That's how much I fucking respected that fucking dude. Like, I, you know. yeah, I met him in. Uh... 92 uh and he signed some stuff but uh i don't i only have like, little, little cards of like his picture on it signed like caricature mm. signed those are the have left uh the comic got sold somehow i mean not somehow i know how but i regret it to this day nips uh, i found him Found my nibs, but I don't worry. Thank you. You're welcome. I can only imagine where you were hiding them. In my butt. Hiding them in my butt. Isn't that where you isn't that where you put things? Yeah, Is but I don't call it my butt. I caught my fucking my prison pouch. Mmm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking Keister. Keister. Mm. My black hole. My black hole son. Black hole son. What a creepy fucking video, right? It was that like... movie, that video is creepy, dude. He has no idea what that song is about. Or like, like in an interview, he's like, I have no idea what that song is. If anybody can tell me what Black Hole Sun is about, please tell me. I'm like, you wrote really? it, dude. <laughs> yeah. And then somebody told him, and he was like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I like the audio slave stuff that they did. That was good. It is different. 
Uh, well, I liked yeah. it. It was a little different. I didn't mind it, but uh, Soundgarden, obviously. Especially older, like uh, you know, super unknown and uh, like full haired, bad motor finger. Yeah. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Oh, would die if she heard us butchering it. Like that. She's a big summer. Is she? Oh my. Yeah, so am I, though. Yeah. I really like some I like... Yeah. Uh, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, we grew up in that era. You know? Yeah. But I wasn't really into the grunge shit. I think but at that point, I you was were a already... Punk guy. Huh? You were a punk guy. Yeah, I was already listening to, like, straight-edge stuff. I was, like, listening to fucking Seven Inches and, and shit like that by that time. It's like, you did today, man. I'm not listening to that grunge shit. I'm all about fucking Judge and Warzone, man. <laughs> now you like it all. Now I like it. I'm, I, yeah. Now I, once I, dude. Well. Once I started smoking weed, dude, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I don't know why I was such a fucking asshole. I mean, even back then, though, I was very, very picky. I was like, yeah, this is metal. It sucks. Now I like listen to a wide variety of stuff. Like, it, it, yeah. You know, yeah. not to be like weird, but it was like. Start. I was like started blazing, and then I started delivering, and I, I was like delivering to a guy who uh, had just. It was your fucking typical like jazz music fan, like you'd walk into his apartment and it was just walls of fucking records, mm. right? And so he like, it was like some banker or something, and he'd like come home and like put on a fucking sweater and smoke weed and listen to jazz records. And so I would like, you know, go over to his place and deliver, deliver whatever, and um, like just sit and like listen to some albums with him. Nice. And it was pretty dope. I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of cool. Like, oh, you don't like this kind of jazz here? Listen to this kind. Oh, you don't like this kind? Listen to that. You know what I mean? Like, it, it isn't all like, like skip it up. Yeah. Yeah, which I don't like. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. There's like. All different types right yeah i never got into jazz though but i can't say that because there's a band uh instrumental band called soften the glare and they do incorporate some jazz into it and i actually do like them so uh but yeah so i mean i just grew up dude i, I was like i learned to appreciate things more rather than just being yeah. a stupid stubborn young punk but uh I'm not a big country fan though no dude i can't stand country <laughs> Uh, like Johnny Cash, that's not country to me though. That's more. Uh, I don't consider Johnny Cash country. Yeah, I know. Right. Which is like, yes, he's country as fuck. Like you go to Nashville and it's fucking Johnny Cash. Yeah, but he he's no, he's got demons. He's cool. But uh, I, I like even even hip hop and stuff. I can I, I I like some of it more now than I ever than I did back then. Back then I hated it. So. Yeah, I kind of I was like not into I was like into rap as a kid, you know, like run DMC and then I kind of fell out of rap when it got into like uh gangster stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't really that interested in gangster stuff. But then other shit started coming out and now I like it, you know. It's selective, you know. It is selective. Uh it goes with a lot of art, though. I like Jay Z. <laughs> you like Jay Z? Yeah, I like Jay Z. I don't mind some of this. I, I, I like Ninety Nine Problems mainly because it's got that metal riff to it. Yeah. Um, I like. Tech I actually Nine. like my favorite Jay Z stuff is the Gray album. I'm That's familiar. where they took uh, his Black album. They took the lyrics from his Black album and used the uh, the beats and music from the Beatles white album oh well, you so, know uh, so imagine it like they took like the beats and all the the sampling they only used right. the Beatles white album and it's okay. fucking dope dude I'm glad I'm glad you like it I th I think yeah I I uh, appreciate that 
that flavor of ice cream. I, I, I you know my my thoughts on the Beatles. So, but uh, you hate them. I don't like them. You're right. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, Tech Nine. Some stuff a, I uh, like. Some stuff I don't like. Like, like I mean, if I was being shot into fucking outer space. And they were like, you got five albums. Like one of them would be a fucking Beatles album. I mean, that's, that's fine. I understand. I just, I understand why people like them. I guess I just, they're just not my flavor. They don't, they don't spark that dopamine hit I get mm-hmm. whenever I listen. No, to yeah, that's yeah, legit. Yeah. You're a fucking Beach Boy. Oh, dude, I hate the Beach Boys so much. <laughs> 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 fucking posers. Posers. Also, fucking posers uh, right away, you fucking kook. Well, I lived with this couple when I was in college, and uh, the guy's wife worshipped the Beach Boys. And everything was the Beach Boys, and that's all I ever really heard. 90%. I'm like, oh, I can't tolerate this anymore. So, that's another reason why I can't stand them. But, yeah. Yeah, I like a wide variety. To me, you have to learn how to appreciate other other things that, but even if you don't like them, at least know why they're good if they are good. Yeah. And they also have to have a certain level of fucking polish too. Yes. Yes. Like they'll be bringing me some dog shit and be like, "Nah, man, I'm telling you, this is good." Like, <laughs> come on, man. Like feeding the ducks, man. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, man. That's why it's the most played track from StreamYard. Dude, next comic book, I'm going to call it Feeding Ducks. I'm going to have Billy color it. <laughs> oh, and I'm not going to tell you it's called <laughs> Feeding Ducks until he's halfway through. I like, yeah, it's called Feeding Ducks. No. I think you should listen to Feeding Ducks while you're uh, Why It'll coloring. inspire you. It'll inspire you. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Sounds like some Guantanamo shit. Like we're gonna make you listen to feeding the ducks. You will give us the secrets, Billy, or we will feed the ducks. Feed them ducks. I don't. Well, I don't know why they call it that. I don't hear any ducks. You don't hear any ducks. It's actually very. I don't know. Maybe because you could. Can you picture ducks maybe walking? I. I I can't picture them eating to this. No. <clears throat> I can picture them like waddling slowly. Quack, 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 quack. Hmm. <clears throat> Other people need to click that link. Let's get more people in here. Yeah, he's tired of talking to just me. Talking to Jaybot too. Cause I'm talking to J-Bot. J-Bot's here. J-Bot I'm is my hero. J-Bot. He's a bot with the J as his first name. Oh, talking sure to J-Bot. I'm concentrating on this castle. Oh my fuck, I can't find this. <laughs> well, I don't even know if I'm... You're, see, you're storming a castle. He's I'm drawing this tiny you. castle in the distance. Oh. <laughs> Say, have fun storming a castle. Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> It'll work. Bye-bye. It'll take a miracle. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a witch. I'm your wife. <laughs> After what you just said, I'm not sure I even want to be that anymore. <laughs> you, never had it. you never had it so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not listening. To Blade. <laughs> To blame. To blame. Which means to bluff. <laughs> to love. Wow. <laughs> Marriage is what brings <laughs> us together today. I, I know people who don't like that movie. Uh, I don't understand it. You know what that is? That's a benchmark for telling them to get the fuck out of your life. So I should block them? <laughs> That's what you're telling me? Yeah, dude. Hey, what do you think <laughs> about Princess Bride? I don't like that movie. And that's a fuck you. <laughs> then that's a. That means <laughs> you're not a fucking decent human being, and you I don't want to fucking participate with your fucking shenanigans. <laughs> the gauge of existence. <laughs> Indiegogo support. Please no refund. 
Oh, I gotta do Just kidding. Update. Detail updates, okay. Uh, I gotta do an update on my campaign. I haven't done one in a while. Yeah, you should. You need to. I should. Let everybody know what you're doing. Well, you doing I didn't it? post the trading when cards. When you doing it? I didn't post the trading cards yet, so I can I can say, hey, trading cards have been in for a little while. We have all of our stretch goals locked in and done. You want to see what I got in the mail? A couple days Some ago. Cyber Frog? Uh, no, I'm not that one. I got this. Mm. Can you, look at that. Can you see it? Hold on. Let me but walk all the fucking big. way don't over here. Big. Don't don't make me big. Just look at it. It's that a drawing? Yeah, that's this. This is the John Romita Jr. sketch cover for Thor number one from 1998. Oh shit! I I actually bought this when it first came out. It was like for five bucks, and then my friend ended up selling it for me, and I regretted it. So I'm like, I want it back. Oh, so you guys it. can't even tell what I'm doing so far. Uh, your painting, blue. I know, blue on blue. Yeah, it looks great. I've never... It's, it's like you're painting the background to an Avatar character. Yes. Yeah. I know what you're doing, man. I got you locked in. Mm, mm, mm. I gotta wait for this ink to dry. I wish this paint was a little darker. They didn't even like give me really Pantone colors, dude. It was like we want these four colors, so Wait, I had to go to Lowe's and fucking eyeball. They didn't give you Pantone colors? No. Why not? They're like these are our four, four, four colors. Yeah, but that's what Pantone is for, so you get the right color. Yeah, I know. I know you, you fucking know. telling me, buddy. I I know you know, but the chat doesn't know. You know, the chat may not know that, 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 that what Pantone Pantones are. are a, yeah. are printing and publishing fucking, it, it's how everybody is on the same page with what color. Like, instead of saying, um, hey, uh, I kind of want like a sunflowery kind of yellow. You know, nobody knows what the right. fuck you're talking about. But if no. you say, I want a, you know, 109 yellow. Then everybody is on the same page with that that, that color and that formula. Reproduced the same way. Yeah. Down the conveyor belt. There's no mistakes. Yep. Especially when you're doing digital stuff with the uh, the different type of monitors and stuff. Sometimes yeah. different colors can the you know, colors look different. Yeah. Gotta wait for it to dry. That's why working with microns is so much faster. I have to wait for it to dry. I'm gonna work on this top panel here. I'm gonna do a microns, but the giant front you know, team. I'm doing an ink, pen and ink, man, stabbing it. Stabbing I might go things. back and get another paint. Go back and get another paint. If you don't like it. Why stick with something you're not happy with? I need to, I need to let it dry and see. I think this is okay because it'll allow me to see the, the logo. Keep me. Uh, I'm just ver just verbalizing shit. Just don't worry about you're thinking out loud. Yeah. I understand. What color is the logo? Uh, normally it's like black and white. You know, oh. but like they wanted to use the these four colors, so they wanted to use blue, 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 and blue. It's like blue with so, with another shade of blue. There's like three shades of blue going down. It's a lot of blue. Jabra. Yeah, bra. Yeah, bra. We got a lot of blue going down, bra. <laughs> blue bra. Hey, bra. Got some blue bra. <laughs> Got a blue shoe. Hey, bra. That babe's wearing a blue bra, bra. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> Why do I do this? I, I'm left handed and I work left to right. So I have to wait an hour for ink to dry in order for me to really start anything. You would You're think I would work right to left. Being a. Freak in nature, left handed freak. That's right. That's right. 
Cause I'm a freak. I'm a left hander. What the hell am I doing here? You know, I they, gotta, left-handed you've people. got a long beard. <laughs> yeah, I gotta trim it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm lazy. Mm. I usually trim the sides and stuff. And put the, I shampoo and condition it. I'm a clean guy. I'm a clean guy. Do you use uh, Perk Plus on your beard or... Tresemme, dude. Tresemme. Tresemme. Use that tresemme. You want me to trust you? Yeah, tresemme. Yeah, just the tresemme. Tresemme. Trust you. Tresemme. Yeah, trust me. I trust you. You trust me. Hey, it's Mario. You trust me. Dude, why is he not Italian in the movie? I mean, I like Chris Pratt and all, but. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt's everything, everything. It should have made him sound like, like, like how he sounded in the live action movie. He's like a New York plumber guy. Yeah. Yeah. They had fucking uh, Louis Albano, remember? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Remember he was fucking. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that movie was terrible, though. Oh, the actual super! I was talking about like they used to have like a cartoon, and some of like the beginning of the cartoon was like live action. Oh, okay. Yeah. Super show. Movie. yeah. yeah. I went back and watched the movie. It wasn't too bad. No, it's just I almost think like they could have called it something else. Like if they had like called it something a little different, uh, they could have fucking. Like call it something m- else and been like fine. You know what I mean? Been average like, Mario Brothers. No, not even like call it fucking Super Mario Brothers. Like uh I think it was like either it was on the old Blade Runner set or they had the Blade Runner set designer to the stuff for whatever. I just clear front like, oh that's pretty cool. Now I gotta wait for that big drop of ink to dry. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie in forever, so I guess I shouldn't judge it too much right now. And even at that time, too, it was like they had nothing to go off of. Like, how you make a Mario Brothers movie? <laughs> like, I understand the popularity, and that's why they did it, but they could have waited. I think anime... Like Chan Lee Guizamo is a... Italian. <laughs> Good call. Mario, Mario, this is the Luigi Mario. Uh, see, I put, I got that dot there. That's not supposed to be where am I? There you go, right there. That's not supposed to be there. That's what happens whenever you work the way I work. I get these dots that are supposed to be there. I gotta white them out. I forgot to put in Frogchi's beard. What the fuck? I know, man. Amateur hour. Well, that's okay. When I first drew him, he had two fingers. Now he has three. He grew a finger. He's he's a frog. He regenerated he's a frog. A he regenerated a finger. That's all. Now, when you tell people, like, hey, this guy's got four fingers, are you including the thumb in that? Um, I usually include the, the thumb. You usually include the thumb because I usually don't. I'm like, hey, you've got four fingers and a thumb. Because if you say he's got three fingers, some people might draw him with like two fingers and a thumb at that point. And you're like, wait, no. But some people then might draw him with three fingers and a thumb. And then you're like, wait, no. Um... I don't know. I already forgot what you were just saying. <laughs> I'm just feeling better, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think when I hear three fingers, I think a Ninja Turtle hand. Yeah. So you, yeah, so you're thinking the thumb is included. If you tell me four fingers, then I'm thinking Simpsons hand. Then how, so, and humans have five fingers to you, then. 
Yes. Yeah. You say a hand, you don't say four fingers and a thumb. I do. <laughs> Fucking well, you German. German. I am part German. <laughs> Yeah, I expect in the Deutsch. Drei hier um die Ecke. Und keinen Einel. Schnell, schnell, weiter, weiter. <laughs> whatever, whatever they were saying in, in Die Hard. That's what I. I know. <laughs> Die Hard. Mine was from Tools. Uh, uh, Ver done Satan, where they tell you how to make brownies without eggs. Oh. Yeah. Und keinen Einel. <laughs> Great song, actually. It's pretty funny. They got this gum eraser from Hobby Lobby, and it's like too soft. Is it a Hobby Lobby brand, or is it an artist like a like what, what brand? Like a, General? Um, General? You know, I would say it might be like an artist touch or something, which is their house brand. Oh, that's probably why right, then. Yeah. yeah, usually I try to get the general erasers. Those are pretty decent when it comes to needed erasers. Stuff like that. You saw uh, get stuck on your fingers. Ah. It's a little soft and sticky. Oh, am I getting ink? Wait. I try my best to keep things clean and I fail at every turn. God damn. I know I'm more of a human being. I was watching uh, Ben Lazaro or Bob Lazaro's uh, Aliens in Area 51 and UFOs documentary. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Bob Lazar. Yeah, dude. Did you see that documentary? It's it's like on TV or Tubi or something like that. I it's remember seeing that, that guy's shit like fucking 20 years ago. The Bob yeah, Lazar dude, he, guy. His story is still the same. Like, it's pretty crazy. Like, it, he hasn't missed a beat. Um working on anti-gravity stuff man that's wild yeah i believe him. i believe him. i mean the stuff that he says just seems i don't know it's just so ma matter of fact and it's never changed i don't know i, I yeah, but he even remembers diagrams and like you know he can draw those up i mean i'm not saying like hey like we work on comics so we do remember like specific beats and things and we have them memorized and nailed down yeah and we can recite them so I'm not saying it's impossible to do, but what point, what reason does he have to lie? He doesn't gain anything. He's not getting money from it. Like, is he, he not? Does, is he? Yeah, that's a question. Now. Is he not making any money right now? He's not. He, he any money that they do get from it, he just gives to like some foundation or something like that. So he doesn't even benefit from it. He doesn't like being in the spotlight, or at least so he claims. Now this can all be fabrication and lies, but he's passed like four polygraph tests. Yeah. Now, you could pass a polygraph test of what you are saying you believe. So now, what? Hey, here's my question. You, you just saw it, so you're pretty. You're fresh. A little fresh. Does he? Is he? Has he seen people? Like has has he seen entities? Pilots? Now he when he was first interviewed, like the, the, what, like 20, 30 years ago or whatever. Like he did say, like he was walking past the door, and in a little, like little, like eight by eight or nine by nine window, he looked in. It had that, like you know, those metal bar great things, and he saw, thought he saw a couple people in like white coats covered up and talking to something. Like that was like short. That was twenty years now. Today he's like he's like what he thinks that was really was like a doll because it was in a seat, and so they were getting proportions for the like operate like the chair of right the for the operator. Yeah, so he's like he's like. I I think it was more or less just like a doll or something like that. He's like, I don't really think that was it. He's like, so he's never seen an alien, but he's seen the crafts. He's seen the uh, inside of one. So he saw nine total. He's seen the inside of one. 
Um, he's and like it's not around. at Area 51. It's like like further away, like SR or something. It, or... SR7 or something like that. Yeah, it's like a couple miles away from Area 51. So it's still there. You know, it's still in Area 51. And it's like on the side of a mountain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they, it's like in, uh, on the side of them. So it's made to look like the mountain. You know, so it could be just camouflage. And like I said, like we could, you know, we could recite our books or ideas and nail them verbatim. Like maybe a couple changes here and there because you don't say everything the same all the time, but the beats are there. So he could be yeah. lying. Like, but it's more fun to believe it. Because he never likes his, like, where are they from? You know, like, I don't know. Like, I, I, that's like the real question, you know, that I'm like, well, it's not like, are they here? You know what I mean? It's just like, okay, well, are they he from was... here now? Are they fucking from the future? Are they different dimension? Right. Well, yeah. And he never talks about planet? any actual beans, though. But he, he was on Joe Rogan and he did say in a briefing documentary, in a briefing document, like he did read, like they were from this solar system or whatever, like the, 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 the spacecrafts were from this solar system. Blah, blah, blah. We're from this solar system. Like not no, not ours, but like a specific one, like somewhere else. Like reticular. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Uh, but he did say uh, one of them. He did they because Joe asked him, he's like, do you know exactly where these things were from? He's like, not really. No. He's like, but my lab partner, uh, the guy who was in charge, did mention offhand one time that one of them was from an archaeological dig. So, so they've been sure. here. They've been here for a very long time. Well, they're in paintings. Yeah, they're remember, paintings like there's like paintings of like little ships with people inside them and stuff. It's like what the fuck? In carvings and and in and, and multi in plenty of cultures too, not just like yeah. one specific one. So, it's it's it's, it's interesting stuff, man. I, 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 think I think so. I think it's interesting, fun, and. I don't see a harm in, in, like, I think it's harmful if you totally absorb your whole life into that idea, but I don't see any harm in being like, yeah, he's telling the truth. I'm like, there are aliens. Like, that's it. Like, that's the extent they get out I mean, there's really, are you going to stop paying your fucking taxes? You know exactly. What I mean? like, it's not yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm going to, you know, go to Area 51 wearing, like, a, a big headed costume and be like, they're for real. <laughs> I mean, I think, like, I guess, like, the government is, like, they don't want to talk about it because they can't control them. So it's, like, if we can't control something, then we're going to ignore it. Right. Like, uh, and, well, they also... CG. Like, CG, yo! Kiss up, won't stop. Um, well, they... Man, I hate that. Um, they have those Tic Tac sightings, like, I don't know, you've see, you seen those. Yeah. Like, okay, guys, it's a toy. Yeah, kid. Get him the toys. Get him the toys, man. Get him the toy. What's wrong with you? Kid deserves some toys. <laughs> Get the kid a toy. Listen to that voice. Dude, you know what I heard recently that was kind of scary? Where I was like, oh shit, I've never even heard about this. Was uh, polar shifting. What you mean, like yeah, the po the the polar the uh, north and south polar uh, they they yeah. shift it was so many for so many years. And we're kind of due for one, I think. Yeah, and so and it's like, yeah, like you know, the it, something will happen. The poles will shift. It'll cause the mantle to go liquid, and like the uh, the way they described it, it was like the Earth will stop rotating, but all the water and the wind on it will like keep going. Right. You know, so because like we're spinning at it, thousands of miles an hour, so suddenly like the wind, everything's going to be going like a thousand miles an hour. The water is just going to get like slushed around and shit. Like it's like what the fuck? And then it, after like a week, it recorrects itself. Yes. <laughs> after seven days, dude, or six days, it starts to fucking chill out. Like what? <laughs> yes, yeah, so got me thinking about building a giant fucking boat, dude. I'm like. Hmm. Well, hey, Elon wants to get us to Mars, man. That's one good reason why. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's, he's building those giant fucking boring vehicles, right? It's like, yep. why is Elon making tunneling equipment, flamethrowers, you know, and electric cars? I don't know. 
to distract everyone else from our impending doom. That would, be, that would suck. You nope, know, because we're all going to die. That's the whole thing, man. We're all going to go one day anyway, so just enjoy it. Oh, yeah, enjoy yeah, what yeah, you yeah. Got. Enjoy what you yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, nobody's getting off this fucking rock alive. Yep. Puller shifts tomorrow. Hey, I hope you had fun. Nah, that fucking sucks, bro. <laughs> I like I don't want that. Like I'm No, like, I'm saying I know that, but I'm saying if it does, I hope you have I a don't good want life. I don't want there to be a polar <laughs> shift in fucking a hundred years. Like ah <laughs> after I'm dead, I don't give a fuck. Like, no, I fucking Well you have kids. I want my kids' kids and I want I want my kids' kids' kids to be fucking But listening to stories I mean, about the great grandpa. Right, but you may not want it to happen, but it's gonna happen. Oh, I know. I know. So, you know, you get some things you just have to accept and let it go with the flow and be like, hey, remember, the polar shifts are coming. Enjoy life. Enjoy. Fucking nihilist. <laughs> it's not being a nihilist. <laughs> it's actually being a positive individual. I mean, you okay. try, to, try to enjoy what you got. Be grateful. Be happy. Take it in. I enjoy am. Your... I'm not being a... I'm not being no, a, you're not. Like a, I know oh, you're not. Oh, poopy pants Shane. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You're, you're not. You're very We're all gonna happy. fucking die. That's We're gonna fucking die! Any ah! second now. Let's start doing second. crack hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm gonna die. Hold on. <laughs> ah. I'm still here. I'm still, still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. <sighs> Fun here, blue on blue. It doesn't make any sense, but it will. Blue on blue, tears on a river, bars on a canvas. What I like that. You like that? Remember that song, Blue on Black? I don't know. Blue that song. on blur. Oh, blue on, on black. Everybody sounded like Eddie Vedder. Blue on blur. <laughs> what who was that band? I don't know, dude. Eddie, Eddie and the Blowfish. Like Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> Lenny said, Eddie and the Blowfish. we suck at checking the chat. Oh, my gosh. Well, bar's kind of on a canvas. I'm at my art. Hold on. Oh, private Hold on. chat. <laughs> Is there somebody in the back room? Yes. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! Oh no, you gate kept Irene! <laughs> I mean, you've been here for like 10 minutes! Oh shit! <laughs> gate kept Irene! I'm I apologize. So Bar is going down! Uh, it's fine. Wah, wah, it's fine. Wah. No, no, hold on. No. For all of eternity. Hold, hold on. Is that like, is that like a, um, <laughs> like buddies? Like we're buddies? It's fine? Or is it like. It's fine, and I'm it's fine. You're going I down. Worry. Yeah, you, <laughs> is yeah, it a girl? It's fine, or yeah. is it a buddy? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah, somewhere in between. Oh no, <laughs> no, fuck. no you're screwed, bar. Fuck. You're oh no. Is, is it when your friend says it's fine? Day, or when your wife says it's fine. Game of, oh, dude. Oh, Jeez, my man. wife says it's fine. I'm like, oh yeah. Wait a minute. What? Hold on, hold on. Like, what do no, I need it's to do? not. Don't lie to me. <laughs> you know, mind. there's there's a woman's it's fine, which doesn't mean it's fine. Correct. Nah. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's fine. It means like, your, uh -oh. your shit's yeah, over. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. This is fine. It means I'm tired of talking to you about this, but I'm going to remember and never forget. I'll bring it up next time we have an argument unless you <laughs> do something to make up for it. It's tenfold right now. Even if you do make up for it, it's still remembered and used as yes. weaponry yes yes it is yes, yes. It is. yes you know what i heard uh, recently that i was like oh that's dope i'm gonna use that uh is do you want comfort or solutions i like it like if somebody uh, starts like talking to you you know and, you know like your wife or, or somebody else it's like do, are, are you looking for me to just like listen to you and comfort you or, or do you want me to like actively look for solutions oh yeah 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 <laughs> Because sometimes yeah, they just like, I just want to, they just want to talk about what's going on. I want on. someone to listen. Yeah. I don't really no, need to do anything. That's true. We were talking about this on our channel because we were talking about why Hollywood sucks at writing both men and women. And I was like, well, you know, because they don't understand how, I mean, it's a general generalization, I know, of course. Yeah. Like, with, with uh, I've noticed this because, like, when I 
a roommate, I've roomed with like both men and women and a, a lot of, you know, a lot of times, and I do this sometimes, not much. I don't like complaining, but some days we just want to talk and it's now we're not looking for a solution. I just want to bitch about somebody, okay? And like, that's, I'm not asking for a solution. If you try to bring a solution, it just makes me more annoyed. <laughs> yep. just, just shut up and listen. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Eat a cheese stick and shut up. Listen, some straight cheese in your mouth. Yeah, sometimes you just got to vent. Like the, the Ryan Gosling, you know, the notebook. Like, what do you want? What do you want? Nothing. What? I want, I want a cupcake and, and uh, I just want to talk and then everything will be fine. And that's, that's it. You get it? And a beer. That is so easy. Cupcake and a beer. And I want to bitch about this motherfucker who's driving me crazy at, online or at work. Yeah. You got anybody specifically you're you're what a bitch about, or you're just you're just in general? What today? No. Yeah. <laughs> today? How about now? Ask me tomorrow. Because right now That'll she sounded pretty story. pissed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, I was like, oh shit. She sounds like she's got something that she's ready to talk about. No, I mean I'm always pissed at somebody somewhere. Women usually are like yeah. men go to work, like we'll come back, leave work at home usually, and be like that's it, that's it. it's done, it's done, it's over with. Like a woman oh. will get home and forget about it. This girl's out to ruin my life. Like, no, I think, I think at least with me, it's like, uh, if I have a problem with somebody, I'll, if, unless it's like, I'll have to figure it out. I'm like, what is, I don't understand why there was this problem, but not with like some crazy bitch on Twitter. I don't, I don't care. Oh, that's like, different. That's especially, different. yeah, it's different. But if I have an issue with friends, you know, I'll fixate on it forever. Cause I'm like, well, I can't just let it go. I'm like, I need to figure out like, what's the deep psychological underlying issue? Oh my God, I hate that song. Oh, it's stuck in your head now. You're welcome. No. Oh, I hate you. Oh. <laughs> I hate you. Wow. Quick, think of another song. Too late. Anything? Quick, hurry. <laughs> My brain is melting. I need another song. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like animals are it's dying. Like that Chinese yeah, balloon is like sending that. out signals. <laughs> the Chinese yeah. balloon. Yeah. Is the Chinese I blame the Chinese. Yeah. Well, you could actually because I'm Chinese and the song is, you know, Chinese movie. So it was aptly fitting to blame the Chinese in that instance. And you're welcome. You're welcome. That is the extent of my singing skills. Uh, oh, you lie. I've heard you sing before. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I can't sing. You, that was my best shot. You're better you're than like, what you think. You've like <laughs> chanted in, your own, in the language of your book, the fiendish what? language you've like sung battles. Battle, battle hymns. Battle hymns. Battle hymns. Yes. Oh. Tales of woe. Tales of woe. <laughs> and high adventure. High adventure. Mm. Exactly, yes. That's, that's what this book is about. Tale. Tales of High Adventure. Let me tell you of a tale <laughs> of High Adventure. Adventure. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Conan, Irene? No. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh. You okay? You right? It hurts. It, I, 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 it hurts. It physically hurts what? me. Oh, Jason, we haven't streamed in a while. You forgot. No, I'm not allowed on your channel. You are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have the link. When? You've got the link. link. I posted it in the. I posted it in chat rooms that you're in, Jason. I didn't see it. Oh wait, I'm blind. Yeah, I bet you didn't see it. Oh, I forget about that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's tasty. No, we haven't streamed in a while. I miss you, Irene. I miss you. Aww. I miss you, too. I appreciate it. Well, I've been streaming at, like, weird times. I'm, like, I don't know. I'm, like, uh, just doing art streams whenever. But I I did one last night. I think I'm just going to commandeer Boob Band's chat room that he never uses. Well, uh, yeah, I saw last night. I went to bed really early, though. So it's, oh. uh, I was just exhausted. I, I, I was up really early, so I didn't. 
But yeah, you had on Narwhal and uh, Yvonne was there. It was good. I liked it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Uh, and also, Boob Dance DM group, I, I have muted. <laughs> yeah, I muted too, but I was looking for a DM group of like, well, his DM group is like mostly just everybody I'm cool with, so I'm just going to commandeer it. This one. I don't feel like starting my own DM group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I kind of silence every DM group that I'm in. Yeah, because I'm I'm annoyed by having like a million and one groups. So, I stay um, in them just just in case. I don't know. I had one and then it turned to shit because like, one person went crazy and then it just turned to awkward situation. I remember that DM group. Yeah. I treated that DM group the same I treated every other DM group. Silence yeah, it and never said it. a word. Yeah, muted it and never said a word in it. Yeah, I, I, I do almost the same thing except for a couple of like like fun ones. Most I, I, of it's I, like, I don't know what to do. Hey, I have a strict no no talking policy that everyone ignores. And we and we all appreciate that you at least. Um, yeah. <laughs> adhere to the no talking policy. Yeah. I appreciate that. The yeah. little the little chatter as possible. Yep. Links. I, yeah, I saw your group. You're like, everybody shut up. This is only for links. And guess who broke I mean, there's me. other chat rooms. There's like fucking 20 other chat rooms for fudge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, there's plenty. I don't know. I, not, not to be like well, holier than thou. Believe me, I love I love some good fudge, but it's just like... I, yeah, I'm but in, you I'm get in over a DM group where like all I hear about is somebody who like... I've like already muted this person, and I, cause I, I'm just seeing like I'm just like getting inundated with this person's fucking shit. It's like I, I don't care. Well, and, like that's why even my channel, like I usually just talk about weird, stupid, fun, whatever. It's, there's almost no like fudge or drama that I tend to talk about. And the same with any DM group I'm in. If I hear it, I'm like I hear enough of this everywhere else. Yeah. I'm good. Like I, 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 I'll listen to it if I want, and I like you. I, I enjoy hearing some of it. Don't get me wrong, but I'd rather talk about UFOs and comics and space adventures and swords and sorcery and escapism. You know, there's a dope uh, YouTube channel called uh, Isaac Arthur. The guy has like a speech impediment, so he talks like mm -hmm. this. Like, yeah, yeah, I watch his channel. Yeah, and the world. He can't pronounce ours, but like. <laughs> Yeah. But Joe, did you see the one where he was talking about like the giant like flat earth and like what it would take to create a giant flat earth? No, I've seen a, I've That's seen a bunch of those other ones. Um, there's like there's some like sci-fi ideas. I always go there when like I have some sci-fi concepts I'm trying to develop, and he's like one of the really he's like an awesome resource. Yes, is it just is like listening only... to him and just absorbing the shit? Like his uh, space navigation video was fucking like was yeah. mind opening. I was like, holy fuck! I didn't even think about that. Like everything in space is moving. Yep. Yeah, so he'll do videos to, like, on like. Well, what would uh like um what would like different civilizations on the Kardashev scale really be like? What would a type three civilization actually be like? And like then just follow it to the logical conclusion. What will happen to uh, at the end of time? And then he just follows through like all the details. Of what, like, is he only on YouTube? Like. Do you know, or if he's is he on Spotify too or something? So I could listen to more. He's, uh, he's I only know he's on. Yeah, you can just. Can't you listen? I can, but it drains. And when I'm at work, it kills my phone battery. Uh, uh, Spotify, mm. and I'm not paying for YouTube. Spotify, I can lock it, and it won't kill it. Oh, I don't. I don't know. Um, oh, that's okay. Yeah, his name is Isaac Arthur. So. Isaac Arthur. I'll try to remember. Sir Isaac sounds. Arthur. Mm. I like the name. Mm. That's a good name. That's a, like a scientist. That's name. A, that's a, yeah, that's a science novelist name. Or something. <laughs> Such a, yeah. that's a, a science name. There's a few others. I can't remember them, but there's a few like really cool, um, you know, science, sciencey nerd channels. There's a there's this one channel called Melody Sheep that they don't put out that many videos, but they do. They're like a whole VFX studio, and they'll do like well. Um, what are let's explore alien life forms and they'll do a whole like 30 minute video of of uh it's all vfx and we're pretending to walk through this museum full of alien life forms but it's all digitally rendered and they'll talk about well on this planet 
there's uh, these life forms that they're they look like plants, but they're actually animals, and this is different types of eyes. And then there, they had another uh, another video that's uh, it, it was like they were talking about well, these are all the Earth-like planets within our vicinity, and it, they, the video was pretending to take you on a spaceship and take you to like Alpha Centauri and then Andromeda Galaxy and this fly by all these planets and there are planets that are made of diamonds and planets on fire and shit. It was like the it's coolest cool. stuff. And it's all visual. I like it. I like it. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I like aliens. Cool. Jay Desolate Souls asked, "Why do I not watch Conan?" I just have that. How old the Conan's from? Like fucking seventies or something. Why the fuck would I have watched it? Because <laughs> it's, it's high fantasy. But, and it's muscle man with no shirt on. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger barely talking. The production value is really well. I mean, yeah, it's nice. It's well made. It's, okay. Well, you, you like just, it. no one. Well, ever why you want to put them on my lap, sweetie? Oh, all right. All right. I, like I've oh. read the comics. I'm like, why do I? Well, I mean, I guess. Yeah, sure. But, yeah. At least you've read. I the comics. I think. Yeah, I, I think you might appreciate things. it. Yeah. It's, think, not, it's not like a, a four hour movie that you, it's. It's a solid yeah, it's, maybe ninety minutes. Yeah, action packed, fun story. Oh, uh, it's fucking badass. Yeah. It's it's, it's really it's fucking great. badass. Alright. Yeah, yeah. I, I do want to rewatch some of like the old oh, either like historical or fantasy movies. Like I want I gotta rewatch Troy. Oh, I gotta uh, yeah, watch this Gladiator really again. I think I think Conan really kicked off like the high fantasies of the eighties. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, like when Conan the Barbarian came out, then like a whole bunch of other movies like started it kind like, of coming out. Even cemented what high fantasy can be. Like it, it just did. It, 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 mm -hmm. Without Conan, you really wouldn't probably have as great quality fantasy movies out today. Plus, like the, um, you know, it's not just like Conan's culture. Like he's, uh, it's him, and then he has like his little buddy Subutai, who's like a Mongolian bow fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's cool. Right? Oh, yeah. I, you know what I mean? He's like a, I don't know, he's like a Mongolian writer, but he's yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up? What's up? I don't know who you're saying. What's, what's up? up? Like tonight, yeah. He's talking to somebody else. Oh. Yeah, you'll be able to park here tonight. Yeah, no problem. I'll be done by then. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Look at all that pain. I'm looking. Giant Look pain. Mm -hmm. That's right. It looks fun. It looks Look like fun. Him. It looks like fun. Yeah, and it's like uh, there's no prac. There's there's no like CG. It's all cool. practical effects. Mm -hmm. All the sets are like built you know what i mean it looks like really well done um really well production it's written by oliver stone yeah it's got james earl jones it's got it's written by oliver stone i didn't know he wrote it wow that's cool yeah it like he was he did the first couple of scripts i did not know that you want something new every day something new every day How's Yvonne doing, Irene? I didn't, I didn't see him. I don't really watch too much last night. Oh, he's, he's good. Um, yeah, he's good. Good. Yep. I think uh, he's say good Yvonne? for a while. Yes. Yeah. From South America? Yes. Si, sí, senor. Si, si, si. Yes. Si, yes. 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 That's so fucked up and racist. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think he would mind. <laughs> My ex-wife is from uh, uh, Mexico City, so I'm allowed. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you get the pass then, right? Yeah. That's how yeah. it works. Yeah. I, I was put through the misery of... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Just yeah, kidding. Yvonne has been good. He was busy for a while, but he's looking for more work. Um... I'm like, you're like basically my employee at this point. I mean, not really, but I can. I'm just like, I need this shit color, color this shit. I need this other shit color. Yes. You want to take it? Yes? Okay. Do it for me, color work. monkey. <laughs> yeah, because it's hard to get art jobs in South America. But um, yeah, Plagal was telling, he got in a car crash. He didn't even tell us. 
I he told some people. I didn't know about it until I was on a uh, topic list on Tuesday night because I saw him. He came in and he never comes in on Tuesdays. And I was like, dude, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, I got in a car wreck. I'm like what? So yeah. Yeah. This, this, yeah, it was like the second time this week someone I know I had a car wreck. I just didn't tell anybody. But, right. Oh, I mean, I'm glad he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> it sounded very convincing. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad. Right. Right. Give me another drink. <laughs> <laughs> the, the tone was because I'm really annoyed at, like, just, I don't know, stupid drivers, man. God. Yeah, that's why uh, I don't drive. That's the only reason. Is it the only reason? Yeah, it's the only reason I don't drive. I actually can see perfectly well enough to drive just fine to do anything. I just like being driven just around. Lie about I like it. having I like having chauffeurs, you know. You're not a, you're not a very good liar, Jason. That's good. <laughs> what right? kind of painting with a broom? <laughs> Like oh that? my god, that's, nice. that's crazy. Yeah, you're fucking painting with a broom. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever it that takes. looks like so much fun. It is. Are you, you're painting on cloth? Yeah, it's a canvas. Uh, oh, like okay. a Like a tarp. Yeah, it's right. yeah. I, I bought a, I bought a, I got a canvas tarp made with like grommets going around the edges. Oh, okay, I see. I'm kind of close to the color that I need. Yeah. Which right. is really, really nice. Right. Sitting here and trying to paint the whole thing blue would have sucked. Like, yeah. Isn't that what you're doing? Yes, I am painting it. Well, you're if the painting. color underneath was like white, it would be even more work. Yeah, which that, I used to do that. Just like buy the canvases from Lowe's and start painting on them. And that was, it was a hassle. Cause you'd paint it and then have to wait. Yeah. Hey, Connie, Mark's in the chat. What's up, Mark? Oh, buddy. You know who knows? That's a guy who knows my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Yeah, but if he tells Great. you, then then more people will know. Yeah, I'm trying to make us know Connie Mark's not that special. I'm trying to ruin it. <laughs> what? Well, Connie Mark is special. <laughs> Yeah, but he's even not though special even though his dude. political beliefs say that he shouldn't be special, that <laughs> he, we should all be the same, he's special. Yeah. Very hypocritical. I don't draw on your skin. Is he in the back room? Oh no. <laughs> You're like paranoid now. Yeah, no. He can get yelled at again. I wasn't in the back room that long at all when I was back there. You were gone. Is the only reason why I was. I was even back there a couple of minutes. Sad. When he came back, he let me. He let me in right away. Actually, when he came back. Oh really? Yeah, Come like, on, oh, must be nice. It's Jason. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, like, my, my friend Jason. I'll let him in <laughs> yeah. right away. It's like, oh, my, my good friend Jason. No, oh, fine. Yeah, I'm totally over this. <laughs> Not sure what you guys are talking about now, but. Uh... <laughs> Sure. Never, no. I never called Jason my friend. I don't know. What, what, so yeah. inattentive, man. <laughs> I hate you both. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we got some splacks. I want to talk about a thing, but I can't talk about it. Let's do well, it. Talk about, talk about it. it. Talk do about it. it. Ain't nobody watching. <laughs> Girl, let's give him something to talk, talk about. about. Let's give about. him something to talk about. Get it, Irene. What do you want to talk about, Irene? We're all here. We're listening. Well, the the thing, the bonus thing I'm doing for Fiendish that I haven't really oh. officially oh. announced yet. Talk about oh, that's think, good stuff. That's good. That's, that's fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. I thought it was fudge. I thought you wanted to talk no. about some fudge. No, no, not fudge. Okay, no, good, no, no. good, good, good. I know I have, there's not a lot of fudge going on right now. Uh, <laughs> well, now I said that, it's going to jinx, jinx yep. it. And, uh, You're going to get so much fudge with chocolate and maple gonna syrup. Shit's going to hit the fan, yeah. Fudge from Uranus. Uranus Fudge uh, Factory. What, what's the uh, fiendish thing? What is it? It's a thing that I'm doing. What is it? It's a thing. 
What, what, what does the thing involve? I guess I've already talked about it, but... Um, yeah, it's fine. But, uh, so, the, I haven't announced it because I'm, it's not sure yet. So I've been talking about wanting to do the, like, the chapter uh, 2.5, like, an extra story. So, um, I'm getting it made, but I don't know if it's going to be with the chapter 2 campaign. So, you know, I'm holding off on just saying so. It's not for sure yet. Who's, so, uh, who's, who's doing it? I can't talk. I can't say. I'm, we're not ready to say. But Can I have you... a person. Hmm. We're, we're working on it, so. Is, 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 is it, is I'm it just well excited. Known, is it a well-known cg -er? No. No. Is it a well-known artist? No. No. Is it an artist? Yeah. Well, yeah. Ah! Getting somewhere. Okay. Yeah, that's, you know, people kind of know, but if people watch my channel, they have all, like, all my streams, they know. I well, don't know who it is, but, uh, I will announce in, I will announce in time soon. Just, like, it's, it's a bunch of, like, scheduling issues, because I want to, first I want, of all, I want to have pages to show with, uh, with the announcement, um, and also... I'm thinking of like right I'm making it a stretch goal to print it with chapter two. So like, it's gonna happen, but if we're gonna print it with chapter two, I'll make it a stretch goal. So we're if it, we don't if we don't hit it, I'll just I'll do like a separate campaign with it. But if we reach a certain amount with chapter two, you're just gonna get like a gigantic 90, 100 page book. Um, do you, wow. Is it gonna be in color? Or? It'll it probably be in duo tone. Ooh, I like that. I like yeah, because it's a flashback chapter. So I was like, and with the way the story is written, duo tone would work really well. Like I'm thinking, like cold, like probably blue and orange, mm. and um, it really fits the story. So I might I like throw that. that at Yvonne as well. Do you know? Work. Do you know the amount you have to hit for this stretch goal to happen, or you, you're undecided yet? I'm not sure yet. You're not sure yet. But at first, I had it set for 200k. All right, let's do I it. I don't know. The stream right now. We're gonna hit. 200K. All right, we're going to 2k. We're going to 2k. <laughs> I don't do know it. if it's if that's like too high. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna. But then again, I wasn't expecting to hit 100k, and I wasn't expecting to hit 150. <laughs> well, I don't. Honestly, I don't think it's too high considering you 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 have to pay someone else to do it. You got to pay to get it printed. You got to pay for all this other stuff. So factoring in the cost, I don't think it's too high. You yeah, know what I mean? Probably, so, yeah. yeah. But it's real. It's really good. Um, like if, if I may say so myself, but I'm really confident about this. Nice. It's a little depressing, but like good story. And I think I've been editing chapter two and fixing the dialogue, and I'm um, just streamlining. I think. Matt, you probably read an early draft of it. It's it's even better now because I've just mm. been like like tightening things up so it's real tight. Mm, tight. We like it tight. We like it tight. Tight. <laughs> yeah. Like a good tight story. Like yeah, I'm like working on the dialogue. I'm like I want the dialogue to be like fun to read because I think it's it's like a character development chapter with a, with some fun action. But I'm like I want to give the characters accents and stuff and you know. So I'm working on like the tone and just making the dialogue fun. So I, I want this to be good. I want this to be books you can read over and over again. I like it. Good news. All good news. All good things. That's good news. Matt went dark. What? I'm I'm texting somebody. Okay. You're not allowed to see who's texting. Right there. Right there. Yeah, you. It's a secret. Oh, Matt's got secrets. Got secrets. So what's up with you guys? Not about me. No one cares about oh. Siren. People oh, care wow. about you and Bar. They don't care about J-Bot and Jason. I mean, I'm asking you because... Well, you care. Yeah. You, you, no, I'm not saying you. I mean, you care, but the chat is like, Oh, I read and Bar. We love them. So. What? No, uh, <laughs> what's going on, J-Bot? She... I mean, I'm working on Frog G right now. Uh, I also have the cover for... I got to print it out and ink it, but the cover for the Absolute Trade. Because uh, I'm going to re-release the, the... I'm going to release How the trade. That? The absolute How one that? Two. That's good. Put that out on, like, the website, and that way I have something to sell to at cons. But, uh, 
Okay. I need to get that done. Because plenty of people missed out on it. So, uh, like, so it was my first couple books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on with you, Jiba? Uh, launched uh, Uh We're going to uh, go for my YouTube and my socials and stuff, but also got a store on Teespring that I'm doing t shirts and sweaters and, and stickers and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, I'm making designs for that. And also, writing. I'm working on my own book too. Don't know. If, I don't think it's going to be a comic. Uh, probably might be something else. Um, hmm. Yeah, always writing and working. I'll be right back. Okay. And then my daughter oh, so took you, over my art table. So. I saw. I was like, those are very small hands. Hey. <laughs> what, what's Hello, your child. Yeah, child. I got you guys in the headset because uh, it's because of the language. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh no. yeah. Oh, would, that's a good idea. Wait, you mean this isn't age appropriate to content? Yeah. What? Froggy is all ages. Fucking age appropriate. Froggy is all ages. Hold it up to the screen, so you have to try and see it. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> no, just lay it down, baby. Let us see it. We will see all the viewers. You're right there. The team right there. Well, bar's not here, so we can't blow blow it up. But yeah. <laughs> Cool. Well, good job, kid. I can't see it because it's too small. Good job, tiny human. Yes. Good job. You know, in uh, Hakka, the word for children literally is little person. I, I do. I call them tiny humans. Because they're human. tiny humans. Yeah. Sometimes they call babies human larva. But not uh, to the parents' faces. You Oh, you should. <laughs> What a lovely human larva you produced! I love it. I mean, I mean it in a in an affectionate way, but people don't take it like that. <laughs> You're calling good. their child larva. No, they're not. You are. You're a larval form of human. You're not wrong, but it's yeah, not, I'm a, not wrong. It's not a very affectionate like. I don't think thing. it's affectionate. It's like calling Larva. it affectionate. Larva is kind of a harsh, ugly word. It's... No, it's, it's like saying they're a little caterpillar. Okay, a little caterpillar. That sounds adorable. That sounds adorable. Yeah. No, but when you say larva. It's like... I don't know. Like, I think it's, I think it's cute. It's not very endearing. Well, that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> it's not nothing I gotta deal with. It's their larva. Because <laughs> I get slapped by parents. <laughs> the next time I say it's not my larva. No. It's theirs. I don't know. I, if you can tell I, I don't say that unless it's like uh, I don't say that to someone's face. Yeah. Joke about it with my friends. <laughs> but really, to me, it's affectionate. I think it's kind. Like a kite. You find the word pleasant. That's fine. <laughs> It's funny, but it's, it's oh my god, I can't, I can't fucking explain it. Never mind. Yeah, it's fine. Never mind. You're fine. I get you. It's okay. Right here. Everybody's got their own thing. It's yes, fine. yes. Listen, it's just, I'm on a special wavelength, all right? You, you, Nobody I, understands me. I will not disagree that you are on a special wavelength. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm on, I'm on the, the special bus. <laughs> my mama's been telling me I was special. Mama always said this helmet's for my own safety. <laughs> helmet this, this helmet is to protect me from bumps and falls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's why I was whooped so much as a child. With a spoon. Okay, I gotta figure out what the spoon is gonna do for dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get out of here, guys. Are you out of here, Jay? All right, later, man. Let's get yeah, seen. All right, later, Jinbot. You guys have a good oh, one. Look, it's like, have a good one, bud. Dang, it's five. That feels late. Yes. I don't, I don't know if I got a show later tonight. Um, I gotta go do some. I got up so fucking late today. What time did you get up? Like one. Uh, that's about what time I got up to. I, I was streaming until six though. So. Oh. Well, that's a good reason to wake up late. I see on the weekdays I wake up kind of early and I get like five hours sleep, so I tend to crash the weekend away. Mhm. Mm you know, but I know you, well, you pretty much do the same. I do, I do, but you know, I 
I just spend all weekend working. But like now, I was like, like I was been scrambling to do all this work and editing, and now I'm trying to get pages, catch up on pages. But uh, it's also like this is the first week we haven't had rain for a few days because it's been raining for like four fucking months straight. I'm and I got sorry. work around the house to do, so I guess I'll just do it tomorrow. Though I'll just get up tomorrow or Tuesday. I'll just get up at the ass crack of dawn and do my yard work. There you go. I miss <sighs> the rain. We, 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 it's too cold for rain, right? Now. I don't. It's it's been raining non fucking stop, and it's really yes. annoying because I've been paving stuff and doing a little concrete work, and I'm like, I need it to not rain for a hot minute, please. And I need to like set some pavers and the the um the material I'm using to sort of set all the sand and stones. Like it needs to be bone dry before I can apply it. I'm like, oh, but it's just sitting here for like two months. Like when is it gonna stop raining? When are you gonna stop fucking with me, Atlanta? Yeah, Atlanta. Stupid Atlanta. Atlanta. You dirty whore. Hello. Yeah. Is that your? Impression, modernist impressionist dance. Man, it's been yeah. raining like a motherfucker nonstop, hasn't it? This is like the only, this is like the one fucking weekend or like one week we've had that's not. Yes, dude, doesn't it rain. Oh God, it's so nice, it's so nice. Oh my God. I like the rain. I don't, I don't, not this much, it's annoying. I want to do yard work. Yes, that's why I like it. Everybody's all angry and depressed. Oh, it's raining. I'm like, yes, now you know how I feel every day of my life. Okay. All right. Depressed, really? I uh, mean, sometimes. Slowly going blind bar. It's not a happy thing. Oh. But I stay happy on streams for you guys. That's yeah! all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all Keep that matters. Up. Keep up the facade of falsehoods and lies. That's Yay. right. Yay. Just take, those, <laughs> just take those feelings and just, just swallow them. them and just push them just real just down. Every bury them. Just take that down. six foot deep hole. Just bury right. it. That's yeah. right. You don't need Step to bring it all up those down feelings. and cry into your pillow, but don't let anybody know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. scream into your pillow. Oh. Into the darkness. The darkness of my soul. <laughs> I'm just letting the shit like, I know that feeling. The darkness mm. of my soul. Ooh. I do know that feeling. I know. And I don't like the well. darkness. I, I, t I buy candles and I don't even light them because I like them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was uh I was getting some friends to review like my my layouts and my scripts and I'm like this is so depressing. <laughs> like I don't think your story should be that depressing. And I'm like, but they're like, well this doesn't fit, so you should change it because this isn't how you intended your story to be. And I'm like, wait what? <laughs> You're aware of that? You? Like. My main character has this hometown destroyed by demons, and I have like child murder, and it's a pretty depressing story. Uh, and human eating demons and shit. Yeah, that's the best. Like that's a, that sounds yeah. like a good fantasy fun for the whole family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back to like this today. What made you think this was gonna be a happy story? Life isn't happy. Wake up, people. Life isn't happy, so why should yes, I be? Exactly. Why should I? Ha I? Why should I? If I'm depressed, I'm gonna make you depressed. As well. That's how you know fiendish is good. It doesn't promote lies. It yeah. Doesn't. You want to escape? No. No. You get slapped in the face with reality is fucking harsh oh, dose fucking of reality. Time. Yeah. <laughs> well, not in like the modern way. So. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, climate change! Climate change as well! Oh my god. <laughs> How dare you! You wanna look like a beautiful woman? You're a bigot. <laughs> <laughs> you oh my god. You bigot. Filthy bigot. <laughs> Dirty, filthy bigot. Mm, that's the, that's gonna be my next book title. Dirty, Dirty filthy, filthy bigot. bigot. Yeah, it just rolls right off the tongue. It does. I, 
I want some pizza, like biscuits. I want to know biscuits. what love is. I want you to show me. I want you to show me. Pizza biscuits. I was spinning on canvas. I was spinning on canvas. For some reason, I really want a Big Mac, but I'm not going to get oh, one. Oh, yes. No, <laughs> Big Mac sounds go. so fucking good. I don't know. I just suddenly have a craving for a Big Mac. Don't do it, Irene. I You're won't. Poison. I'm gonna. You're I'm gonna go cook. I'm gonna cook some. I got a bunch of steak. I just. I literally mm. bought like pounds and pounds of steak and just threw it all in the freezer. I'm like trying to eat healthy, so I just fling some steak and some broccoli down on the stove, and that's food. And you know, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, I've um, been I'm like that. I'll have craving for something else, but I'll. It's I'm either eating steak or salmon. So, yep. and it's, it's like simple to cook and it's really good for you. I've been just pretty, it's been doing good. I've been losing I, weight. I try to do chicken and broccoli as much as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like me chicken. Yeah, I just, sometimes I cook, I know chicken's good for you. I don't know if like steak or chicken's better for you. Probably, well, chicken's well, like lean meat. Leaner, but... yeah, chicken's a little leaner, but I just, I just like chicken a lot and it's a little cheaper than steak. So. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of like steak, though. I, I'm not. Yeah, I, I do too. I, I'm not mad at you. I mean, yeah, look at I, yeah. She's got a, a you know ten thousand dollar campaign. She's uh, she eating steak. No, she. Well, she's honestly, got a couple more than ten. <laughs> hundred thousand? Sorry, hundred thousand. I do. I know. I was trying to make My a joke. My campaign is ten thousand. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke, and it involved math, and I just That's why fucking I, shit I the bed. Chicken. Yeah, I was like, uh, uh, one and two <laughs> makes three. But ten is more than hundred. Hundred. Hey, uh, you want to know? A qu- ask a marine, all right? Hey, listen, there's a, reason, there's a reason we're artists. Yeah, Marine would probably do better math than us. Yes, yes. Now, it's, 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 in the long run, though, even if I fucking buy steak and salmon, and I'm like, I buy some chicken just so I don't fucking go broke, cause, but, like, man, I really like, I love salmon and and steak. and I do like salmon. But it's, it's still cheaper than if I eat out and order out. Oh, yeah. forget about it. My mom and I had breakfast the, like two days ago. I had an omelet with bacon, and she had like a breakfast sandwich. $32. Yeah, yeah. I went out to eat with a friend, and it was like 45 bucks. I was like, you kidding me? Yeah. Damn. yeah. It was nuts. It's just so expensive now. So it, it's still cheaper for me to like just cook some nice, cook it home. nice meat at home. Yeah. <sighs> Gee, shit's crazy right now. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Why am I putting shit. a lid on this? Use a brush. Use a brush. A on I don't need to put a lid on it. You put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. Kami yeah. said, Kami, Kami, Kami Mark said in the chat, <laughs> I read the Marine has to be a thing already. It hasn't been. You just came up with that. Wow. As far as I know, I haven't heard anyone say that. Wait, how am I your marine? Because I'm I'm bad at math. Were you bad at math? I'm not I great thought, at math. I thought I thought the uh, Asian people were great at math. Holy. Fuck. Well, I didn't get that gene. Oh, okay. Why is that? No. Wait, is that racist? Is that? Did I say a racism? No. Care house? Yeah. I don't know. I can't tell. Care? I can't tell what's. I can't tell because I'm white. That's it. It's not. I mean, it's a funny stereotype. I don't get. I mean, I guess so, but I just don't care anymore. Yeah, I don't. I care. think. Yeah, I mean, you say it's like we make that joke, but then when you see their fucking preschools, like all the kids have fucking abacuses and they're yeah. fucking like you know doing high functioning math. So it's not like it's you know to me it's like the stereotype it's white. Like white men can't dance or white people can't dance. It's partially true. For the most part, it's well, pretty it's, true. Dude, I'm painting. Don't make me dance right now and prove you wrong. I said, I, I no, I, not all, some, most, okay. most. I said most. That's what, like, stereotypes come from. It's not, it's like not all duh, but you don't need to say it because there's some truth in it and it's funny. Yeah. But it's, it's funny. Yeah. It makes yeah. it funny. If there's funny people, be funny. I'm not white. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'm not white knight. Go ahead. Make generalities. Yeah, That's but no, I'm white. more talking about, like, well, people say, like, 
first of all, it's a positive stereotype that well, Asians are good at math. So why are you gonna get mad at that? Fucking can people can't even like pay you a compliment? Jesus fucking Christ! I'm victimizing your own damn self. Yeah. But it's also true, like fucking. You know, I went to school in Asia and just they're super strict and the whole tiger mom thing is real and they're like, I mean, you go to you go to school and then you go to school after school to do more more school and we're like doing super advanced math and elementary school and shit. Good. So it's need, it's true. Need, it comes from math. reality because education is important in Asia. How but, long does you know, that? How long does that that stuff stick with them? Like, are there just like a fuck ton of like Asian people walking around who could do like calculus, but they're like burnt out on it because they were pushed on it so much as a um, kid? I, I don't know. Uh, so the reason my math sucks is I just copied my homework all the way through high school. <laughs> 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 I just didn't even try. Nice. I, don't, I made I like friends it. with somebody who was really good at math, and I just nice. copied. So I just, so I was, uh, I was, uh, I was really good at geometry and nothing else. So with math, I got it. I could get how to do proofs, but I just hated doing the work. So I'm like, fucking, I know the basics. Like I can, you know, I'm not a fucking idiot. Probably compared to American schools, like I'm pretty smart at math, but compared to Asian school, they were like teaching you statistic and calculus and, Ooh. and like trigonometry and like fucking sophomore year and i'm just like i'm done i'm so done like i just want to fucking write because uh, i'm like a writing person so yeah you're, yeah i just you're copied all the math it. homework all through high I school like that. and uh, yeah give me a good chuckle give me a good chuckle yeah. chuck, chuck, chuck. i got no shame no shame in that rings game no shame 80s made is it? 80s made is saying, "Have you seen Matt dance?" I haven't. Oh, Matt is a great dancer. I believe him. Yeah. He seems very seen adamant about it. Plenty, of, plenty oh. of times. He's he's a very good, very good dancer. I believe him. You should. I I never lie. Only when I do. You never lie. Only when I do. Ever, ever. ever. You're such a pure and innocent soul. I am. Thank you, Irene. I knew you'd get me. See, I get you. You get me. Any, it's about time. I felt so alone. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm here. I know I have unjustly persecuted you all this time, but I'm finally you, seeing thank you. Thank you. Unjustly purposeful, you, emotional <laughs> damage. Unjustly persecuted. Jeez. I see you really good person now, Jason. <laughs> That's so terrible. <laughs> We, we I be understand. We be Do friends, your failure. Though, we be friends. We be friends. You are a big man through your failures. You are still, you are still failure, but I like your failure. <laughs> yeah, I can't disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's what's okay. up, big guy? Oh, what's up, big guy? What's up? Is he, is he talking to his penis? <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. <laughs> he just randomly shouted out, What's that big guy? Oh, you guys can't hear my glorious. dog? I, I got I got I have a I got I have a little guy over here. Been jamming. But he's like barking. I wasn't sure if you guys could hear him. Oh no, we can't. Yeah. Ooh, Kami Mark asks, can, can I see multiplication? My mind is geometry. Interesting. I don't instinctively think of it that way because I was, the way I learned multiplication was just by memorizing the multiplication table. So it's all like rote memory for me. Um, well, I, mean, I don't tend to think of it visually. But if it's visual, then I'm great at it. Like geometry, I got the only math class I got an A in and I didn't copy any of the homework for was geometry. Yeah, I really enjoy anything visual. If I could visually see it, then I could start working it out. Yeah, same here. If it's written in Braille, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you it's know, like somebody was like, "Hey, yeah," like they were like my my father-in-law was like talking about a the, the garden, and I just was like, "Well, can you just draw it out?" And you yeah. Just draw it out. 
like what you're talking about because I can't. I don't know what you're fucking saying. Yeah, yeah. I think like even memorizing things. It's like I have to see it. I have pretty good memory, but usually I have to see it in writing, and then I'll remember. Because every time I'll think of it, you'll see like the image of it, and the image helps you remember it. So I don't know. Uh, it's all all my brain cells that would have gone to like normal functional tasks like math or singing ability or physical coordination went to drawing so if you want to understand uh the problems i have in life so yeah hmm. all those brain cells just whoop 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 uh, Oh, Mark says that's how you taught a sound multiplication. Interesting. Yeah, for me, it was like just forced memorization, but that's how they teach you in Chinese school. It's just what? everything is forced multiplication. I remember I was in first grade, first grade, and every morning driving to school, my mom, like, it, it was like. You uh, drove to school 15, in first? Wow. My mom drove me. Uh, but like every, every morning on the drive to school, my mom would be, make me memorize, like, recite the multiplication table. It was like, good morning! Eat breakfast. I can start drilling you on math. Like I'm not even kidding. I I was six. <laughs> I don't remember anything. I re oh wait, no. At, at six, I re I re yeah. I remember a couple things. I don't remember much. Nah. I remember I remember uh, having an Ultraman mask and somebody taking it from me and me being pretty pissed. It was like oh, one of my first too. memories. I don't know. I, I like what I like. I remember it was like a Halloween party at like a preschool. And I had this really badass Ultraman uh, like mask that my uncle gave me, and I like wore it to it, and they like didn't want me to wear it. The, the school didn't. And I was oh, fucking, why? I, I don't remember why, because they were like, no, 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 that's something that like it was like maybe too mature or something. I remember them like painting shit on my face, like tiger stripes oh, that's on my annoying. face. Yeah. Like, what the oh, I bet you I'm first. a tiger. I'm Ultraman. Right. Fucking Ultraman. I'm Ultraman. Ultraman. Ah, Ultraman. <laughs> 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 I like how Matt's like talking about himself as a kid. And he still thinks the Chinese accent. It's <laughs> 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 Oh, six was when I was diagnosed gold. with kidney disease, so it's not an exactly happy thing. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Oh man, that sucks. That's life. Oh. That's life. That's life. That's why you have such a bright outlook on life. Oh, because I know I'm gonna die. I mean, we're all going to die. Oh, uh, but I knew it at a younger you age. You shall all die. <laughs> no. I, mean, I want to die know. old and in bed, like no. surrounded by people no, and Skywalker. fucking high. You will die. Yeah. I want to yeah. die like like Tyrion Lannister. What do you say? Like with a with a glass of wine in my belly and a, and so the chick around my cock. So I don't have yeah. Cock, I'm gonna die with nice. a sword in my hand and blood on my face. Something uh, along uh, those uh, lines sounds good prick? to me. At the with age a, of a eighty, my with a belly full of wine and a whore around my cock. I'm like, that sounds great. That's a great You heard it here from Irene first. <laughs> it is 2023. I'll just uh, grow a cock and then I'll, that's how I'll go out. At the that is how that works, by the way. Yeah, you can just yeah it is yeah, exactly yeah. how it works. Because exactly humans works. are frogs and we can just decide to grow penises and shit yep. whenever we want to. That checks out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> According to modernity, I swear, it's like... This is like these people are like aliens reincarnated into human form and they don't understand how humans work and we're trying, we have to spend a generation teaching them how to be human again. It's very fucking crazy. You, I mean, I know you haven't seen the movie, but there's a movie called Fire in the Sky and it's about <laughs> true events of a guy who got abducted by uh, aliens or kidnapped or whatever or taken hostage. Oh. And But in, in this his actual telling of it, apparently like the, the, they look like greys and they try to fix him or whatever he fights him off or something like that but they leave the room they come and what comes back is an alien but it looks like a human being it looks uh -huh. exactly like a human like an athletic human with hair uh -huh. so you're not wrong these could be aliens that are doing this what i don't remember that in the movie it's not in the movie dude you have to watch the pot joe rogan interviewed him and 
like he tells the events as they actually did happen because the movie has to, you know, movify things and make it a little more spectacular and different and can change things. But yeah, the, apparently these human-like aliens, they look like humans and they took them to another room where there were other human-looking aliens, female and male, and they fixed them up. That's what happened. What do you mean they, fixed them up? Like they fucked or... No, no, no! Like, they, like he was injured from getting hit. Yo, with that I'm gonna beam. fix you up with some fucking alien trim. No, they, they, they uh, actually <laughs> tap, they tapped the needle a little bit, squeezed it out after heating up a spoon and absorbing up. No, uh, they they fixed him. He was injured from getting hit with the beam of uh, that. Uh, they were, he thinks he had like maybe radiation poison or something. So they fixed him. Mm. Oh. But um, yeah, so apparently there are human-looking aliens. So you're not wrong, Irene. These people oh, could be aliens. Yeah. Yeah, could be aliens. That's exactly it. This solidifies your theory. It solidifies my theory. I was right. I was solving all the right. What are those called? Aren't the uh, the human ones? They're like the Norwegians. The Nordics. The you Nordics. The, gray, the Nordics and the lizard people. I've been down that YouTube. That rabbit fucking hole. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been there. Where it's like, I've seen, uh, I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, some things. KGB agent, shit. like, describes all 30 races of aliens that are currently on the planet. I'm like, what? Yeah. There's, like, giant prey mantis-looking motherfuckers. There's giant dragons. There's fucking I wish normal-looking people. Dragons. Yeah, the Dracos. That would be cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, want... the Dracos, too. Those are, like, the, the reptiles. You know, they're, yeah. like, the... You know this thing that really stuck with me though. So, so what's funny is uh, aliens existing and alternate dimensions and all the different planets and you know alien life forms is completely compatible with Buddhist uh, cosmology. So, like the way I was raised was like my mom was Buddhist and she'd just be like, "Yeah, there's aliens out there. Of course there are. And some of them, um, they're just nothing like humans. And some of them, their consciousness is in the form of light." and they're just in like different dimensions and and that's or like they're in alternate universes but you know this that's how existence is and she, i just remember this i'm like oh my god it's i don't know if it's true because i'm not you know exceedingly religious at all but i just remember like i don't know when i was a little kid probably like 10 or some shit, and she was t saying that yeah this monk and in, in pray in a and the temple was talking about how in our age there's a lot of people who are being reincarnated into the world that are human for the first time because it's like the population is growing. So a lot of these souls have never been humans before. What? So they're not going to know how to be human. So we're going to face some hard times. And this was like 20 years ago. I remember my mom telling me this. And look at what we got now. Yeah. Sometimes I think of that. I'm like, yo. Yo. Maybe. Yo, look Maybe. at Twitter, yo. So fucking, uh, yeah, Buddhism is totally compatible with, like, alternate dimensions and like aliens that. and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right, because that's why I'm like, oh, so the aliens, are they from another planet? Are they from another dimension? You know? They can like, be either. Either. It's, it, yeah. If they're a spiritual uh, entity, then they can transmute themselves into a young born like incubated fetus and Shut the, the fuck their up. consciousness is better than transmuted into that. Yeah, because it's you have like different planes of existence, right? You have different planes of existence that overlap with ours. So that's what some people see as fairies and that's I, I guess it's probably I'm sure it's like people tapping in on drugs and I know I don't know if it's actually another plane of existence, but you know how people go on like DMT or ayahuasca and they see like fucking elves and shit and yep. there are yeah. all these stories and across different cultures of elf like creatures. So I'm like, well fucking maybe so but in Buddhism that that's what they say. It's like they're just different levels of reality that overlap ours. And so there's that. That's like elves and fairies. But then there's also actual aliens from our same plane of reality, but on different planets. So it's both. Oh, Mark's in. Yeah, Mark, you should pop in here. Mahabharata talks about time dilation and long distance space travel. Yeah, this shit is like, yep. this, this stuff is all over Hindu mythology and Buddhist mythology. It's yep. like completely compatible with a lot of scientific theory or just science in general <clears throat> multi uh, uh, cultures all around the world have stuff about this kind of stuff and it's not 
it can't be a coincidence. Like it can't just be happenstance. I like think especially so. I mean, there are also cultures that have never communicated with one another. So it's not like they're like, hey guys, let's let's all fabricate this and spread it around. Yeah, I just think like it's I just take the approach it would be a disservice to just say outright it's all made up because you don't know. Right. I don't so, know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I there's nothing it's... wrong with not knowing. There's nothing wrong with saying I don't know. Like people, yeah. Don't, yeah. a lot of people hate that. Like, it's like, well, no, you don't know though. You don't know. Okay, to not know, but it's like you don't know if it's real, but you also don't know if it's not real. So what's wrong with just like exploring possibilities? Because we've been wrong about so much before. We don't actually know if like simulation theory is real. We don't actually know if like all the elves people see with like ayahuasca are real or not. We just like. We, in a thousand years or 50,000 years, like whatever humans evolve into or in the future, they're going to look back and we're going to seem like Stone Age people. Imagine their understanding. And I don't like it when people assume that, well, we've discovered all that we have to discover. Well, people 300 years That's ago thought the shit. same thing. So, and so why would you assume that this is the height of technology and we understand the universe? We fucking don't. Look at quantum theory, quantum physics. We don't know any of what actually how the universe actually happens on like the, the smallest scale of things. It's like the more you zoom in, the more shit doesn't make sense. We don't know what happens in a black hole. We don't understand space time. We don't know if we can actually traverse space time or if we can travel right. faster in a light, all this shit. But these problems are going to be solved long after we're gone. So we don't know the truth behind any of it yet. Preach it. An open Preach. mind, man. I keep it on me. Yeah, yeah, your horizons, man. Don't be so like narrow-minded. You know? oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You saying that? I just realized that I was sober. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like, yeah. <laughs> you're making a high joke. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Hold, on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to correct something this wrong here. <laughs> Humans will be extinct by then. Well, yeah, humans won't ex will, won't exist in our current form. Um, well, we may not be know. called Homo sapiens at that point. We'll probably. I don't know if like if we'll evolve into something else species. or if we'll be if we'll be yeah if we will we won't exist the way we do now. But I don't know. I think it's even if we don't go extinct, well, it's the classic... we're gonna evolve. Remember that Gattaca <laughs> thing? You seen that movie Gattaca? Yeah. Like, people are yeah. already working towards that, so it's like. As soon as we start gene manipulation and we start generating like superhumans, you know, then those superhumans are going to be what replaces us. And then those superhumans are going to design new superhumans. Um, so I'm just spitballing. I don't know. I'm sober. Yeah. So it's, it's like <laughs> humans right now. We we're kind of in a genetic, we kind of went through a genetic bottleneck. Like humans barely survive. We're like the only species or sort of, it's weird, because we're kind of a mix of a bunch of different human species, and people don't really realize that. But, but um, so saying 50, 50 million years, dinosaurs were on Earth for what, like 160 million years? So we could still exist, but in a different form. We're gonna keep on evolving. But uh, you guys should check out this, oh, this other series called All Tomorrows. It's on YouTube. Oh, it's some freaky shit. Is that where the they like the aliens take us and like breed us into different shit? Yes, except it's all humans. Oh no no no! So well okay so first it's like all tomorrow's is a uh, look at I think the channel's L Shift X. L Shift X does a lot of like really cool like pop culture not pop culture but like nerd video shit. I found him through talking about Song of Ice and Fire theories and he goes really in depth. But all tomorrow's is like an illustrated book series that's uh it's like theoretical fut uh, futurism right theoretical mm, science fiction I love this and shit. it's it's fucking amazing i'm like it's so gnarly too uh it's one of the the one of the newer the only like new science fiction works that i've been like oh this is captivating me there's a lot of like the really great science fiction works are from decades ago and it hasn't been a lot of really new stuff that's been like making commentary about well what what was that just like cool because that sci-fi is about like a cute a cool technological idea but with all tomorrows what it's about is so first like humans evolve and like into like all different sorts of forms and then we start genetically engineering ourselves into different forms like let's mm -hmm. genetically engineer a type of human that can go live on pluto and shit. but then after a few million years 
there's like a mysterious alien species that comes to us and completely conquers almost every single like subspecies of humans and just like fucks with us. It's like they start breeding and genetically engineering humans to uh, become filter feeders. So there's like these drawings and it's all illustrated. So it's like these drawings of human like turn that are bred to look like flesh blobs with like mouths and eyes, but they're just like this cluster of flesh blobs and they're filter feeders covering this planet. So these this alien species just like bred humans to for different purposes and spread them across all these different planets on the galaxy and there are some humans that have been bred to function basically like plants and some humans were bred to be basically sex slaves so they have like the swollen genitals but they are like really really stupid but then these aliens left and just left humans to their own devices and all these planets so you have all these like morphed and deformed humans that some look like plants some look like elephants and some look like some have been taken to really high gravity planets so they've evolved to just become flat on the ground with like one giant hand and one giant finger and they just crawl on the ground and they look like those fish that crawl on the bottom of the ocean but it's like a human shape you know it's fucking crazy and it's like coolish and the most gnarly shit that i've seen in a long time you guys you guys should check it out and it's all like can you have like only one subspecies of human that was never conquered by this these like evil aliens and they survived it sort of semi-normally but they were still they evolved to be to like become one with their technology and they're like they got these giant heads and like tiny like spindly limbs and stuff but eventually they like all these different fucked up human species come together and realize we have a shared heritage and they slowly like start communicating again it's a really cool story so you into this stuff, we should like go give it that a watch. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. You yeah. never know. Oh, sure. Man. Are you sure we're not devolving? I am not sure. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think we are. Go ahead, Ari. Oh, we. I was just going to say we are putting evolution on hold in certain ways. So I think we don't we don't know. I think we're just redirecting evolution. I don't think we're devolving. I think we are intervening with natural selection, but we're going to get to the point very soon when we can just be so selective with genes that we'll be able to engineer exactly what genes yeah. a fetus has and like and as it is conceived or like probably every fetus will just be genetically engineered in a couple hundred years and they'll be able to completely control any you know bad genes or like you know this this kid will, will be born with all these like issues okay so we're gonna make sure that's why wait, remember genes. uh man of steel in the beginning they were just like everybody is like fucking like made for their purpose you guys remember that in Man of Steel? I, don't. I actually don't. I don't. It was like Kal El in the movie is like the first like natural born baby in like a thousand years. Because oh, they've just yeah. been like genetically like engineering themselves. So like Zod wasn't like born from parents. He was like raised in a fucking bag, and, like <laughs> bred to be a, a, a soldier, right? Like. Jorel was like bred to be a scientist, but they're yeah, really. like all like genetically pure, so they're all like super jacked and shit. You know what I mean? There's no like fat Kryptonians. Yeah, like, I feel like we're gonna get to that point too. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was just watching. I was like, oh yeah, that's that's fucking you know. Obviously, somebody like me is a uh, a little pro in that regard of like making sure like you're born without any illnesses and stuff like that, but to manipulate as to what somebody might be as like a career path or have their interest that to me is a little messed up but yeah oh like yeah ge dude. genetic manipulation like hey this, this this we're not gonna let this kid have like a heart problem at the age of three you know it's like it, we're gonna make sure that they're healthy you know but let them choose their own path in life I, i'm i'm all for that I don't, I don't know if like, but with uh, the career path and shit, I guess with this like sports, there is like some, I'm sure even stuff like aptitude for intelligence, there is a genetic element to it. But at the end of the day, a lot of it is how the, how the, your race is right. the environment yeah. is like 50, 50. So I, I agree with making sure, you know, people aren't born with any congenital diseases or any, any, even any predilections for diseases. That would be great. And we're going to yeah. get to that point. I'm all for that. But sort of like, I don't want to end up in a world where we're like, you know, the Russian and Chinese 
sort of those like drill schools where they throw six year olds in there. It's like, you're going to be a gymnast. Right. You're going to yeah. be a basketball player. I'm like, you know, I think that should still be a choice. I think it'll just naturally happen if we just like let everybody biologically be very healthy and then everybody caters to their natural aptitude. Yeah. And like, fine. like my, my father is a mechanic. He really wanted his children to be into cars and stuff like that. And obviously we took a totally different route because we got interested in different things. And that to mm -hmm. me, and like, it just, I don't know, it creates, it, it breeds creativity and intellect. It, it's uh, stimulations of a, a, a different variety of things and it, to hinder that or to stifle, stifle it in shit. some way. Well, yes, I would, it is. I would, uh, shit. I would hope that in the future people will, I mean, maybe history rhymes, so you never know, but it would be, it would be a top down approach to, that would just be like social engineering, but to the most minute level, it would be no different than, you know, what they're doing, with what communism does. Like we're going to micromanage the people's lives to the small, like the tiniest extent, including like what you're going to do for the rest of your life. It'll be like the fucking giver means meets 1984 yeah. meets. And like, I, I would hope that our descendants are smart enough to know that that's fucking stupid. You can't social engineer, you can't govern and legislate everything about a person's life. Just go, well, the state knows best and we're just going to tell everybody what to do. And the state doesn't know best, okay? You don't, you need to just like, Prevent injustice and let people do what they want and trade. You can do what you wanna. Leave yeah. your friends behind. He's working on a cover or a car cover. He's working. This is one of your like NFL or like sports paintings, right? Yeah. It's not Ooh. NFL though. It's it's another brand. Mm. Women. That Women. Is, uh, Women. <laughs> Women's pro sports but, oh, business. Women. Women. Natural born women. Women who have wombs. Like real women? Yes. Yeah. Because I kind of checked before I, I took the job. I was like. <laughs> oh, that's good. I, uh, I, as a. You'd be like, hi. As I'm here for the main bar. I'll tell you. We, we really want you to uh, paint something for this bar. I do. And, uh, and he draws a mark for a women's sports team. Could you make me more feminine? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. What is that shadow right there? That's your fucking beard, bro. It's five o'clock. Oh. Sorry, well, you're a bigot fucking... for painting it, but it's right there. I can see it, and I can see your bulge. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can see your bulge. bulge. <laughs> <laughs> you see that fucking, like, rapist who, like, in the prison? He went into the prison, and they threw him in a women's prison because he was like, I'm tra trans women, and oh my god, it was so oh, disturbing. Geez. And there was this picture. Heard about this. Oh, yep, no. there was a straight up it it happened. I mean, it's I think it's been happening. It just this one finally got reported on. But uh, they've been saying it's been happening in prison. But straight up, this guy was like, well, uh, so he was like the straight as an arrow, cis and everything, presented as a man. But the minute he got convicted, he was like, but I'm trans. Even his girlfriend or his ex girlfriend was like, yo, court. He's pretending. He's not actually trans. He's first of all, he was convicted of sex crimes. And then, oh and then she's like, holy shit, he's pretending to be trans just so he could be around women. And they didn't listen. They threw him in a women's prison and he raped somebody. And there's this picture of him in like a blonde wig and women's like red, bright red women's tights. And you can see a giant bulge. <laughs> Jeez. How giant? I mean, like. <laughs> it's like very prominent. I'm just, I have nothing left to say. I'm just, I'm done. I don't want, I don't want anything to do with this timeline. It's just, just bring me the meat. Flood it right again. Now. Flood it again. I, Irene is checked out. Come to me, Jesus. <laughs> come to me, Jesus. Whoever's turn it is to flood, go ahead and come on up. Come on, hurry up. Ganesh, do whoever. Nuclear annihilation can't come fast enough. Uh, give me like Such another 300 over. years. Clean slate, clean slate. At least let my kids and my kids' kids, and maybe my kids' kids' kids, like live happy. After that, then you could flood it. Where's such a romantic? Uh, well, 
we'll, we'll be I fine. got little people, man. I'm looking out for little people. I know you. I can't just be like, fuck the world. Burn it. Oh, I don't, I don't want to, like, really burn it, but it's like, man, how do you return to sanity? Because you just want certain areas to catch fire, that's all. Like, if I, want, if I have kids, I don't want them to have to grow up to deal with this shit. I'd be super worried. I'd be, like, because yeah, but- it's permeating, and I wouldn't even send them to school, public school at this point. Probably not even private school. Because things are so insane, you just don't know who's trying to influence them. Oh. That's what happens. Right. You have to make those rough decisions. I know. You gotta make those decisions. Are you gonna listen to lo-fi or feed the ducks? It's gonna be... What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta go feeding the ducks. I mean, I'm going feeding the ducks, people. You gotta, you gotta go feeding the ducks. You teach your kids right. Uh, That's true. It's true. Girl, you know what's true. <laughs> Build an ark. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll build an ark. Yeah, we'll build an ark for your kids and your kids' we'll survive. kids' park. We'll, 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 uh, the we'll ark that's being built, it running. won't be for my kids. It'll be for fucking Biden's. No, yeah. Well, that's a high advanced ark. We're going to get you some, you know, planks of wood. It'll be all right. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll build our own. We're going to the mountains of Georgia. Just find a yeah. hill. Just dig a giant bunker. We got this. Yep. Let's do we it, Matt. Yeah. Got this. You guys would be buy some cheap worry. ass land in bumfuck nowhere, Appalachia. Just start mm-hmm. like digging. Start digging. Get a couple shovels. Go to town. Yep. I need. Yeah. Hey, that's a that's a question I have. Let's say you buy some property. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bought some property. I mean, I guess like in the woods, you could do whatever the fuck you want. But let's say you live in the suburbs. Yeah. Right. You're like, okay, I have this two acres, or I have this acre of land in the suburbs. Nobody's saying I can't dig down, and you start fucking digging down. I think right? like so, land like you rights. have your house, but like you have like a fucking five-story like bunker underneath your house. You know, is that? Possible? I think technically nobody can stop you, but I think legally speaking, there's a certain. It depends on the state. So every state is different, but uh, some states, especially of the land and. And the county is like known for having minerals. Sometimes the government will be like, "Yo, you only own it just this many feet below the ground." Plus, so you got to worry about you got to worry about like water pipes and, and yeah. You are. So, I mean, like, like, after that, I'm saying like like doing it smart, not just like digging, but you know, being like, okay, let me go into the basement. I'm gonna. Dig I don't down think you need a permit feet. to build a bunker. Like, I don't think you do because there no, are people you, with you private don't. bunkers. Yeah. I think if you, you're digging like insanely low, I would still look for like, well, how deep can you dig? Because you're right with like electricity lines and stuff. Or, um, but as far and like, but with land rights, I don't know. You're not gonna be like just with a shovel. You're not gonna be digging like ten stories below where you'll hit gold or some shit. So I think it'd be fine. Uh, how low can you go? Go. How low can you go? I guess just don't get found out. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, build a high fence first. Not legal advice. Yeah, build a high fence first. Just start releasing the dirt out of your pants when you go to Walmart. <laughs> what are you judging, dude? <laughs> what? All right, just leave a trail of dirt out of your pants at Walmart because that's super normal. <laughs> Yeah, but nobody's see, looking, you know, like Shawshank Redemption. He's like walking around and just like letting dirt Shawshank, fall out. Though, dude. Brian Stanley try- also says three feet is the limit in my state. Three fucking feet? Are you fucking serious? See, I don't. That's why I try not to make that's- movie references. I don't know what Irene's seen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't seen anything. You seen, seen nothing. What? You've seen things. I haven't seen anything. You've seen things. You've seen, things. You've seen nothing, Lebowski. I've seen nothing. Good day, hockey's in chat. Hey, what's up, hockey? Oh, hey, hockey Shaw- I have seen Shawshank, though. Oh, okay. Aha! See? Aha! Aha! She seen it! <laughs> she seen things! She seen things! She's starting to see for four things here! <laughs> Oi! Mm. Whoa. All right, I I need to let this bitch. I was gonna say uh, I'm gonna cook. have to dip off soon. 
I gotta let it cook. Cook it, man. Put it in the oven. Set it to 350. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever do that? Do you like, I mean, this, I have to like let it dry so I can come back. But um, like, do you ever just like start working on a drawing and you're like, let me less like let it sit for like 20 minutes? Yeah, I do. And then for come these. back to it, you know? I do it for stuff like this, but I'll draw something else maybe. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I do it. I do it quite often actually. Especially if I'm unsure of the direction or if I like it. Uh, I'll, I'll toss it aside and come back to it in like in a couple hours under a whole new light and uh, fresh eyes. Mm hmm. These eyes. These eyes. Are crying. Are crying. These eyes have seen a lot of love and they're never gonna see it like a love like I had with you. Ba, 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 ba. These eyes, These eyes. Are crying. So oh wait, you, you don't know that song? I don't know the whole song. I just know the, those parts. These fucking eyes have <laughs> seen a lot of love. <laughs> I only know a couple parts. Oh, I'm gonna have to dip out. I'm gonna have to dip out soon. Oh, sure. You're gonna dip Can't out? To. Uh, pretty soon, yeah, probably. Right, man. Couple, He's couple abandoning parts. us. I know, right? I mean, shoulders hurting me. I gotta make more coffee. I gotta get more drinks. I got too much to do. Yeah. I could finish this. Even like I gotta, I'm gonna finish this top panel with microns rather than pen and ink, uh, just because it doesn't need to be pen and ink. And maybe work on that absolute maybe. trade cover. Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe, maybe. maybe. Okay. I'm almost done. I was drawing uh, somebody getting smashed. Yeah. 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 Kind of, wait, wait, wait. What kind of smash? What kind of smashed? No, like in the puss with a D? Yeah, that's no. what we were talking about. Because we were I finished my sentence, then you would... <laughs> Are you talking about, talking about puss? Are you talking about smashing puss? Are you talking about... Well, like, I was like, oh, somebody get smashed by a boulder. He's like, what, sex? What? Are you talking about, you talking about smashing puss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. sex? Did you yeah. say something about rock hard? I don't know anything about that, but we were, I, I know we were about smashing. We talking smashing. about the thing earlier. Uh, oh, God, men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sex. laughs> the lizard, the lizard no, brain. The like, <laughs> lizard brain. Yeah. The lizard. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I, I noticed. Well, no, I was uh, somebody getting smashed to bits with a boulder. That's what I'm talking That sounds painful. Yeah, well, he's dead, so. <laughs> so he, he's not in any pain anymore. He's, he's dead. Not anymore. He's pretty dead. He's pretty, pretty dead now. Like really dead. And he, his guts are like exploding. Hey. Like, pretty like dead. a. So it's fine. Like a tube of toothpaste. Nice. Yeah, it really is. It's like guts, just strings of guts, like flying everywhere. It's great. It's so I think much. Ethan fun. started a stream. Oh, oh is yeah. He? I think so. I thought it was. All right, Ethan. See you later. See you later, Irene. Yeah, I got to go jump on his stream. Yeah, see you guys later. You guys take that link. I got to go. Yeah, he sent me the link. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're besties with Ethan. I am, man. We. It's not hard. He's a good, he's a cool guy. He's funny. He really is a good guy, isn't he? Yeah, I'm like. I wouldn't know. I don't get to hang out with him. He like them apples. Okay. That's fine. I don't want to. Stop. Oh, I understand. Stop I got a frog book. He doesn't like me. I get it. It's fine. Yeah. Like, you're, you're, there's, people there is some truth to that. Thing. He was like, frog? What the fuck? <laughs> What's this frog bullshit? I'm the fucking frog. He is the frog. Oh my he's God. the frog father. No, he's not hung up about that. People overthink this like shit. No, nope. well, like fuck him. Even with me, I'll like start streaming at that same time. But with like him or Shane, it's like, well, you're streaming over people. It's like, oh my god. There's a I don't or, like over streaming like you bar play goal like my people I hang out with. But if like you can't if Ethan's streaming and I'm gonna I can't like oh well you know I'm not gonna not do it or Shane or all them, you know. So I'm like I'll stream if I just, want to. 
I don't know. People think overthink things. It's like they think, well, everything that uh, somebody who's has a large presence is doing is out to get somebody. No, we're all human. Sometimes no. we're just. It's not like we really. Just I just not out yeah. to get you. Right. You well, know? I like I don't overstream those people because like I'd rather watch your stream. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. I'd rather just watch you guys. It, or, or hang out with you guys and i'm like why watch a street at that point so it, 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 that makes yeah. no sense but yeah yeah but it, like I, who uh I, I start uh, you're all the time sporadically when other people <laughs> stream. Okay. i don't care do it a lot i'll do it a lot matt got oh. smurf murder hands Matt, you murdered a Smurf. I fucking you smash did. him up and drink him. Yeah, I, you're painting with Smurf blood. Get their essence. Essence. Assets. Their essence. Ass. Yo, you know, uh, Smurfette is a, a tranny. She is. You're not wrong. Is she? Yep. Yeah. It was like Gargamel was... took one of the Smurfs and, like, turned him yep. into a fucking chick, and that was how yep. they... To infiltrate the other Smurfs and yeah. their secrets. And she was like, wow, this fucking blue D is delicious. I'm staying around. Mm. Especially since she's getting all of it. She's the only one. Ah, uh, just fucking uh. goddamn. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. I remember being a kid and Smurfs was one of like the few actual Western comics I read. Except I read it in Chinese. It was weird. So I didn't even know that when they swore, they would do the whole like Smurfs thing. Because I just read it in Chinese. And they didn't what did they say in Chinese? Chinese? They would just say like really milk toast, like non swear words, like dang it, that Oh, uh, that takes the fun out of it. But it's hard to translate that into Chinese. It doesn't really work. Wouldn't the word so, Smurf just be Smurf though? Snarf. Not Snarf. It's a no, it just it's it comes across weird in Chinese, but you know, it, isn't a isn't uh Smurfs isn't actually it's a uh, it started off as a European, um, it's a European IP. I don't know. It's like it started Probably. off in Europe and then and then like migrated over. Like it started off with the little figures. I could I be wrong. Have I have no idea. Further. I don't know. It's a lot of shit. That's like moving so European. Wrong. So. You could be so I'm, wrong. Um, yeah, you could be, or we could be. Never know. I'm gonna go with that. I, I mean, I didn't say an opinion about it, so I'm see how I'm wrong. I knew you're right. thinking it. I'm always right. I've never been wrong. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. Yeah, that's how it oh works. Oh my god, it's like I feel like I'm talking to my dad. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. awesome. Is that you, Papa? Can you hear me? Is that you, Papa? Papa, can you hear me? Uh, no, that wasn't. No, that's not. I'm me. just I blind. Talked to my dad the other I, day. <laughs> there, there is a, there's a C in the thing that went. It was the critical drinker. It wasn't comics artist pro secrets. That's how oh. blind I am. Yeah. That you, that's you're pretty blind. Yeah. I saw a C. I'm like, oh, it's Ethan. And I saw it was a long word. So I'm like, yeah, it's Ethan. Oh my god. I, I judge words by length and dominant letters. What yeah. okay. Like at work, uh, it, it we have like a shipping hold for stuff. Sometimes it'll say paperwork. I can't read that it says paperwork, but I see the mm -hmm. length of the word, and so I know it's paperwork. So I could be wrong sometimes and give them paperwork when it's a different kind of ship hold. <laughs> That's how I read sometimes, dude. I'm like, what is that word? And I just see shapes. Yeah, it's pretty much what it is. It's just shapes, and I'm like, oh okay, sure, oh, let's go with God. that. Yeah. American education just failed. <laughs> It's you, Jason. You, you're actually blind, so it's different. You get a pass. I pass on life. You get a pass. Good pass. Thank you, everybody. Whatever right, you go. do, don't Google search that. Okay. All right. Later. Right. Looking good, Bar. Later, so man. Is, you're out. So is the so is the artwork. Yeah, I'm out. All right, buddy. All right. Thanks for having me. Get out of here. I'm, all right. I will. Later. Get the Bye. fuck out of here. Love you, buddy. XOXO. XLXL. Oh, okay. Brian suddenly also said, well, he said, oh, I guess EVS was streaming, but he was singing, so. Oh, oh that's cool. Called. A bunch of people left. <laughs>
That's oh what people left. Yeah. I have my shit hasn't gone up. What's going on, Angela? All right, I'm gonna start looking at the the. Uh, uh, the I'm gonna stop here. ignoring chat. I'll be right back. Mmm, EVS ate a whole bag of edibles. Good for him. Rookie. Those Smurfs were French, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I feel like the Smurfs were something. Band of the hand, I right hear. Wait a minute, where, where Roni went later? You left? Oh, he started a, a piano stream. Yeah, that's cool. I like the one song. Uh, there's a there's enough George for all of us. I think is the name of the song. I don't want to fucking work this painting too much. Need to let some of this sit and dry. I need to thin this up. I wish I had. I wish it was a little bit taller. I wish it was a baller. Yeah, all of this is wet. All this is wet. Like and share. Even though most people are watching uh, Ethan, might be nice to get a an additional window open for my dumbass. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. You start eating yet? Have you? Are you gonna have dinner? You're going out somewhere? Are you starting that steak? No, oh, probably should, shouldn't I? Hmm. But I'm like, well, yeah, I don't, I'll be listening, but I'll be across the house. Yeah, That's yeah. not a, I, uh, if I'm banging out in the background too loud, then to let me know, okay? Copy. I'll just yell across the house while I'm cooking. Copy. Yeah, yeah, get to that get to that fish before it goes bad. Uh, uh, oh, you don't like salmon? I like salmon when it's fresh. No, it's fine. It's, it's, it's like I'm supposed to cook it or freeze it today. I started watching Yellowstone. That's just dope. What's that? It's a show with Kevin Costner. But they're like badass cowboys and shit. It's almost okay. like... It's uh, like a, a guy who owns a ranch. And 
like he he will go above and beyond the law to like maintain that ranch and like everybody that works on the ranch are all a bunch of badasses and like if you get you don't get fired from the ranch they like take you out and fucking kill you holy shit hey yeah, have like, you right. uh, mm-hmm. that sounds cool have you Dude, read the comics good. scalped have you read scalped but it was by, by jason aaron back when he had balls that sounds familiar. It was like it was like a crime thing on a reservation. Yeah, yeah, crime, crime comic on a Indian reds. It was fucking, it was good. It was like fucking dark and like mm-hmm. gnarly and just dark shit and super real. You know? And I loved it. Like I don't know. It's like it's like back when you can. You can, someone like Jason Aaron can write about that, and Argus is like from, he's like European in some stuff, and some shit, and nobody was freaking out, like, you don't have a right to write about Native American culture. But they what? did their research. And like, it was a really good story. I learned a lot because they did their research. But it's also a really cool story. It's like hard crime drama. You would like it. Mm, food would be so awesome right now. I had a boiled egg earlier. You what? I said I had a, a boiled egg earlier. Oh. You should eat more than a boiled egg. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in the. I'm. I'm. I don't. I. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Topic chat. What do we? What do we? What do we talk about? Uh, what's going on, Griever? I think I have to bring this again. Right. Dino nuggets. That's what I should have for dinner. Is dino nuggets? What about what's the uh, the oatmeal with the dino eggs in it? Is that what that is? Dino nuggets. My little, I don't know what he is, like cousin, nephew, kind of a nephew or whatever. His birthday party that we went to yesterday. He's a big old dinosaur kid. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm back. I'm going to just wait for it to cook. I return. Huh, maybe I should throw some wine. Do I have any wine left? I've been throwing my wine on all my cooking, and it, it's, it makes it like 20 times better. Does it? Yeah, I like it. Hey, do you know what the symbol... uh, Visualize this. It's a hand. And in the palm of the hand, there's a fish that's on fire. And on each finger... There's a little thimble, and each thimble kind of looks like a fucking item. Like one thimble looks like a crown, another thimble looks like a cross, one thimble, blah, blah, blah. 
It's supposed to be no something idea. secret, and I'm just kind of like, what is that? I have no yeah. idea. I don't know. That's, that sounds crazy. Right? Oh. Yeah, I have no idea. Some like occult, you know, secret society shit. It's uh, Martina Narcota's uh, cover. Oh, yeah. Where it's oh, like she's like doing something her. with her hand. Oh, it's probably, it, well, it has to do with alchemy, obviously. Yeah, so I'm oh. just like, what does that mean? Like, I mean, I guess if I don't know, I don't know, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not into, like, alchemy stuff. And I think that just. Um... Oh, I just looked it up. There you go. That was easy. The alchemy symbol of transformation. That's what it is? The hand? Yeah, the hand with the fish and the like a yeah. little crown and the key and all these little these uh, items. Yeah, it's like a, hand it's like of a the, Oh wait, ha, hand of the mysteries, the alchemical symbol of apotheosis, the transformation of man into God, is traditionally represented by an image of a hand with other symbols, including skulls, crowns, blah 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 blah. Right, so it's the symbol of basically man's ascendance into godhood. Okay. That's interesting. Because I kept Googling uh, uh, fish in hand. Hand hand with fish in it. Things on fingers with hands. And I was just getting like nothing but like people holding fishes and shit in their hands. I was like, God damn. No, I literally just put in al alchemy hand and this person. Ah, uh, fuck. You got to know how to Google. Yeah. Okay, boomer. Yeah, boomer. No, it's. I do pride myself in uh, Googling very well. Um, Maromi asks, skin on salmon? Yeah, I love the skin because oh. I just fry it. Well, not fry, I just like, you know, pan sear it and like with the skin on the bottom and like the skin is all crispy. Ah, oh, it's so good. Yeah, I love it. Uh, Brian asks, what's the number of paintbrush you're using, Matt? <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be releasing this on Photoshop and uh, Procreate. Yeah, are you gonna have a Gumroad version? I really like to get a version of that on Gumroad. You bet. Yeah. Um. So what else are you gonna do with this? Are you gonna make the uh, like the circle area a different color? Or are you gonna add a third color? Oh yeah yeah yeah! I got a purple. Honestly, this looks like so much fun. I would love to do this. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. So all I'm right. kind of like building up all this. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Ah, fuck my. I'm like trying to look at the screen and here. I'll just look at it. I'm building all this up right now. I see what you mean. Yeah. So yeah. there's a logo right there. So like I'm going to go back with like a white to like outline mm. it. But then I got to do these giant things which are also shapes from the logo. So I'm just like recreating the shapes from the logos, but to do these and then make them <clears throat> pop off, I, I gotta wait for all this shit to dry. Mm, so yeah. I may like try That's to get cool. as much of the blue done as I can and then uh, go eat something and, and let it dry and then start working on the, on the blue. Mm -hmm. Sweet. That looks like hella fun, dude. That looks like it's just like really, I don't know, like, it would be like you're just in that zen zone when you're painting and it's just you and the paint and you're just like being happy smearing paint all over the place. It's so much fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah, how I, I feel do. when I paint. I'm just like, ah, paint! <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm yeah. free again. <laughs> but it's like I've, I've like turned it into production art at this point. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. Like I, I did the uh, the painting like this. I this was all in uh, Illustrator. Mm -hmm. So this is this is vector. Yeah. So I was like, uh, you know, I, I had everything movable and adjustable. So if they wanted yeah. to change it, so they were like, hey, can we watch the live stream? And I was like, yeah, sure. But like, I don't know. I didn't want them like watching, you know. Yeah. Oh, we're here talking shit. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Or somebody be like, "Oh, his employee employers are fucking in the chat, or we're watching. Like, maybe we'll say some shit." No, your chat's cool. Nobody want to do that unless it's some outsider, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like fun. It is fun. It is. But it's also I have to, so this has to be there by the tenth. Okay. You can finish that by the time. You got time. Yeah. Plenty of time. Like, it's not complicated. It's just, you no. know, it's really big, so you need time to let it dry and all that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing is the, uh, is the time letting it yeah. dry. That's cool that they're, they want actual paintings and they're not, I didn't even know they still did that. I thought, oh, they just like print it out or something. But, uh, yeah. 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 I mean, but you could kind of tell in commercials and shit when they've like printed something out and like mm-hmm. they've actually somebody's painted yeah. uh like I, I saw a commercial and it was about a, a, a maybe it was a, an insurance company and it was like showing this guy's life on a giant canvas but it was so obvious that they had like photoshopped it there was like strokes yeah. around shit that were like too perfect you know what i mean it was just like it was like no yeah. fucking way bro you know and then when you show the photos it was like yeah i could i could tell that they had like gotten photos and then manipulated the photos you know blah 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 it was so yeah this just like adds a little extra you. i think yeah yeah you could definitely tell like when you can see the paint strokes and the light reflection and stuff that's cool it's good to see that you know just media like old school paint still gets work my grandpa was a sign painter in New York. Uh, he's, uh. A, he's an artist too. So he was like a watercolor painter. He was part of like the like painters guild or some shit. Uh-huh. But he his day job was painting signs back in wow. the day when signs needed to be painted. Yeah. That, my I, grandma was a jeweler so and my by mom. That shit. My mom was a sculptor. A lot of art. A lot of artists. Like we were. I was uh, driving somewhere. And we stopped and got some food. And the place that we were eating, they had hired a guy to come and paint uh, the windows. Mm-hmm. And oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, like, I went from, like, all right, we got to hit the road to, like, let's just let's, let's sit here for a second and just watch yeah. this dude just, like, using a brush, you know, this, like, fucking chiseled brush, flathead brush, because I was looking at everything, dipping in paint and just, like, zip, zip whoop there's a five zip zip whoop there's oh a yeah you know what i mean and it was yeah like, they're so good fuck. with those the, like the lettering they're so precise with it it's yeah. like watching people do calligraphy with nibs like they just have when they'll write it out just freehand with a fucking nib or a brush and it looks like it was computer generated in illustrator yeah yeah it was but like, like oh that's dope. but you can get to that if you just practice you know it's not like mm-hmm, well they're just mm-hmm. talented no no they practice that over and yeah. over again but uh it's so cool it's so cool to watch it's good to see that old media so you still get work doing this um very much yeah you know that's why like i'm not you know i don't i'm not a huge a fan of ai and i don't want people to overuse it but i'm not that worried because i think Real drawing skills will always have a place. Like that's not going away. You can't replace that. And people want physical media that's made by a human. So we'll be fine. Are people gonna get back get mad at me? You you want Skynet? Yeah, Skynet. That's what you want. I'm not a big fan of AI artwork. Um, but but then on Instagram, I do follow a couple of people who post AI artwork. Yeah. But it's like very select where they're like, here's this like retro 1970s movie called, uh, you know, Skull of the Golden Child or something like that. And it's just like, what the fuck? But it's all generated. But I don't know, man, the guy's like cultivating it so that it has a very unique look. You know, it has like this like it's like this almost like satanic Western Kind of a thing like it's i don't know but in yeah. the back of my head i'm going it's fucking ai like he didn't sit there and draw that shit mm-hmm. it's a like pickle. i'd probably be more worried for like Ill- if you're like a digital illustrator well it would be rough but at the end of the day like 
Um, like on well, on a serious note, I think no matter how advanced AI gets, even if it takes like the finger shit, uh, it's going to ultimately be used as a tool for artists, right? Uh, like it's not yeah. even without like not considering all the copyright stuff, and because like it's you need. Even if you, you know, you're really good at the prompt and the, the images are generated, they actually look good. But like the minute edits that you want, you need to do, you need an artist to do that. So you need yeah. still need yeah. somebody who understands aesthetics and can just go in and has hand drawing skills. So I think it would ultimately be used as a tool. Um, and like I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm only, I'm beyond that. I'm just worried about like, well, uh, we have to make sure it's like. It gets complicated, but uh, I, I don't think like all AI artists like theft. But it's about what percentage of it of it looks like someone else's work. So, sort of if it looks too similar, man, that they, they should they need to make sure the algorithms can't just straight up rip off somebody's work. But yes, I I want like I'm fully like I'm excited to see if I can get an AI tool, and we're, I think we're gonna get this in like in Photoshop. Because they already have autofill, like in Photoshop, and I use it all the time for bleed. If I forget bleed, or if I need to extend a bleed, I just select it, and it autofills, and it's mostly correct. And I just go in and oh, tweak it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it'll, um, I'll just, ex I'll just crop the image, increase the image size, and then um, make a selection. Then you autofill, and the AI in Photoshop will just fill in like the blank space according to using the rest of the image. And sometimes it'll make some weird mistakes and I just go in and paint it out and then it's all done. I don't have to just draw the entire bleed. It's great. So, so I'm, I'm sure in like five years, we're going to get AI that can like, if I can have a program that I can train to draw trees like me. So I don't have to draw all these million and one trees in the background of my fucking comic that takes place in these like mountains. Then that would be great. It would be like having a manga assistant, but it's the AI. But it would be my style. Like I don't want it to be somebody else's style. I don't want it to just be like stamps of like trees. And yeah, stuff. yeah. So I think that would be cool because for what I'm doing, I just want to get this comic out as quickly as possible. But like at the end of the day, um, like uh, you know, then you still want to like have traditional art. I don't think it's going to kill. The value of art is because our customers want that original piece. They want to collect that. They want like that physical media. So it's just going to be a different landscape. It's going to change a little bit, but uh, I think as long as we don't like sort of overuse it, over rely, become over reliant, it'll be okay. Yeah, you know, I heard somebody recently was like, "Yeah, I like to use." It. I want to use AI so that I can like whip out a whole bunch of like quick concepts for my comic book. Huh, yeah, and it yeah. just fucking made me want to throw up for some yeah. reason like so like you're not gonna <laughs> sit there and fucking like work your own problem out like you're just gonna be yeah, like yeah, hey i want i want sci-fi uh 1950s uh you know what i'm saying like well yeah, yeah exactly like that approach is like you're you're boiling down creativity to just ooh, let's throw. It's like prompts. It's like when you're doing like a one-hour drawing prompt. It's like, um, I don't know, a uh, bunny plumber wearing a cowboy hat. So wow, and, but that's those are like AI-generated prompts, and you're basically trying to write a story based on that. But how do you think that'll work? Because good stories I mean you have something human to say. It has to actually. Yeah. You have to mean it. It's not just, well, I have a cool idea. But that's how a lot of people approach creativity. And like, I, I think it's like fucking stupid. It's not going to work. And it's people are dumb for thinking like, you know, that's a problem with our entertainment, entertainment. I think just a lot of people, whether it's comics or all these like bad Netflix shows, people sort of just, oh, we have a cool idea. It sounds really cool as a one liner. The elevator pitch sounds cool. Yeah, like, right, right. Um, Fucking space aliens meet uh, blue whales. Yeah, wow, so cool or some shit with guns. Blue whales with guns, and then that's the extent of the concept. But what is your theme about? What's the more? Are you talking about comic? Story? Are you talking about a uh, comic book hut book that he had? I <laughs> know I wasn't. I actually Cause he had because just... that's that's literally what it was. It was like space whales or something. Oh wait, you know how he came up with it? He just had an AI prompt generator. Yo, like, but. You know, but the 
thing is, I think a lot of people who aren't actually writers, they don't really have anything to say. They just want the clout. They want the fame. They want to feel like creators. But man, like, that's not what a story is about. It's not just mm -hmm. about having a full pitch. Like, your story is about what's the morality of it. What's the theme? What's the, what are you trying to say as a human? It has to come from you. And you need to have a, like, some wisdom to impart, or at least, at least, you want to know what subject you're exploring. Like, am I exploring vengeance? Am I exploring, um, like, uh, growing up or, uh, like, the use of violence? Or am I, uh, like, exploring, like, fear? Or what is, what is the subject matter that you want to discuss with society? Yeah. So, so I, it's I think, like, like, what is that yeah. message you want to say when you're gone? Right? It's yeah. like, if I'm exactly. gone and somebody's flipping through, uh, you know, flipping through the library and they see my book, do they want to like see that I'm like really paying attention to something or do they want to see like Robo Toad? You know what I mean? It's like, come on, what, what's going to matter in a hundred years? That's. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that stuff's annoying, but you know, well, I don't think they're going to create anything that'll last. So that's just how it is. You know, if you want to approach creativity that way, that's you know that's their business. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do it my way. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it my way. My way. I'll do it. What's that song? Oh, it's I like it that way. It's the was the Backstreet Boys song. <laughs> I'll do it that way. Totally. Yep, that's, you nailed it. it. That's, that's how I it totally went. nailed it. <laughs> that's exactly how it went. The same pitch and everything. I did it. I got a reference. I want it. Yeah, okay. I want it. Yeah, I know a song. All right. Is your shit burning? I was about to say, is your, sh your food burning? No, it's fine. I put it on a really low fire. <laughs> oh, this is good. Really, 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 really. Put some wine in it. Great. Right. Alright, I just flipped it. I'm gonna let it keep on steaming. Yeah. <laughs> Mortal bees, your talents lie in art, not vocals. I know. I never claimed huh. to be able to sing. Tell me why. Uh, why? Tell me why? <laughs> Chat's gonna kill me. <sighs> yeah, the, the viewers are just dropping off. <laughs> no! Did you want to go to Ethan's channel? Was he streaming? Is he streaming? Let me, let me check. Keep drawing. Let me check. I'll swing over. I'll swing over there if, if the if it's open. That's if it's open for the for the uh, lower tier people of CG. The lower tier people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I gotta let this stuff dry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna be on Simcast tonight. I forgot. That sounds fun. That's fun. I gotta go not look like a goblin, so. Yeah, you gotta put all put on full makeup. Yeah. It is Simcast after all. Yep, you gotta. You think you'll get some new simps off of it? I don't know, maybe. Mm. 
Fingers crossed. I feel a little out of place sometimes, though, because I'm like, I'm not really a like news commentator, right? I'm, just, I'm a fucking artist. <laughs> just draw and I talk shit. Is that what you're there for? What are you, what are you there for? Just one of the girls, or are you there to, as an artist? No, I'm just one of the girls. Maybe, like, uh, well, Chrissy lets me promote my book, so that's great. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should share share my drawing while I'm drawing it. I don't know if she would. I'm like, I know Flash, would, Flash is fine with that, but I uh, don't know. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, I'm like, hmm. I'm really not a YouTuber. You know that feeling? It's like what? I'm not a. I'm not a. How are you not a YouTuber? I'm not. I'm like, I'm not a good grifter. I don't. I don't do the whole YouTube thing. I just like draw, and I'm an artist. I happen to have a YouTube. So you know what I mean. Is that really grifting? It's like calling like. J J Lennon, J Leno, mm -hmm. J Lennon, J Limo, J Le Who the fuck is the dude late at night? J Leno. J I'm saying it right. J Leno. Leno like, that's yes. Not a, that's not a grift. That's not a grift. Right? Like he's on there. He's providing entertainment. No, it's a joke that YouTubers are grifters. I'm not. Okay. I don't think. I thought you were like being serious. No, I <laughs> I wasn't talking about Chrissy. <laughs> No, no, I don't think Chrissy's a grifter uh, either. I'm, oh, no, yeah. I don't know. I think yeah, you were, no, I thought you were concerned about feeling like a grifter, and I was like. No, no, I don't care. It's just because, like, people who criticize us will tell us that we're grifting. I was like, okay. I mean, I'm just actually selling books here, and. Yeah. Even if, even if you're not selling books, I mean, you're making content people like, and they're choosing to give you money, so, like, what the fuck's your problem? Whatever, it's how capitalism works. It's very altruistic. They can give us the money and then we can do it. They don't have yes. to give us the money. Yeah. I want them That's to. True. I want to entertain them. It's not like I'm going to sit here and do stuff. I like want to entertain people. Yeah. That makes sense. Brian suddenly old says, uh, says you're a high TCG, Matt. High TCG. Oh, uh, shit. Wow, that sounds nice. It does, does sound nice. It makes me want to dance. High TCG. I'm fine with grifting. I don't care. Do what I want. I do what I want. Oh, got some dirt mixed in here. It's okay. That's all right. So when do you? Um, oh, you have till the tent, right? Is yeah. this like it has to only... be there by the tent, so oh, it has okay. to be done by by the eighth, at least <clears throat> the eighth at I least. See. Yeah. Like they could do over the night, over over the night. They could do overnight, but I want to give them uh, at least one day yeah. of um a window. No. Makes sense, yeah. Cool. People appreciate that. Mm -hmm. They do. They appreciate it when you deliver shit early. Where's Rock and Roll Ninja? I get it. <laughs> oh yeah, how is it coming along? Uh, I got six more pages. Okay. And then I'm done. And then cool. I'll never... I'll never draw ninjas ever again. I'm just kidding. How big is the book? A hundred pages. Jesus. Yeah, that is a lot, though. It was supposed to, it was like, hey, do 22 pages and we'll release that as a floppy. And then mm -hmm. we'll do a 50 page book. Right, and and then we'll like take a break, and then we'll come back and we'll do the other half of Rock and Roll Ninja. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "All right, that sounds cool." And then it just um, 
turned turned into what it is right now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, I'm not going to do the floppy and we're just going to do it all in one lump. And I was like, okay. Oh, my ears fucking weird. Yeah, he moves in mysterious ways. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can put it that way. Very strange, man. Very strange. But, you know, he gave me... He gave me my first... My first shot without being, like, fucking weird about it, you know? Yeah. So I, I kind of owe him a little... Actually, I owe him a lot. I don't dislike him. I just think he's strange. He has weird ideas. Oh, yeah. Some very strange things. Yeah, and he's... He's done porno, so I mean, <laughs> I don't care. Well, I could. I mean, it's coming out that a lot of people have done. I'm just shocked. Like the. Man. I mean, I'm not clutching my fucking pearls, and I don't give a shit. I'm and not. I'm just surprised that it's like, like he's so not many getting people. fucked. Yeah, I'm listening. He, he wasn't. You know, yeah. he's not. He wasn't. He wasn't getting poltered. Yeah. Jeez. And, Which uh, that's um, what I was since they were like, hey man, uh, somebody uh, DM me. They're like, yo man, uh, your boy Zach is is in a porno. He was like in some fucking uh, eyes wide shut orgy shit, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I looked at it, and it was just like him in the background. I mean, there's more to it, but it's like, when did this come out? Oh, like fucking ten years ago. It's like, who fucking cares? I don't know. It was totally not. It was like he was just an extra standing there. I don't understand the big deal. I mean, yeah, it's a little, slightly embarrassing, but I mean, it's a little embarrassing. It's a little. It's a little funny. Yeah, you know but what it's I mean. Not but it's bad. not like no, no. And um, everybody's had embarrassing shit, you know. Yeah. And maybe he's not embarrassed, you know. Also, I, I've never talked to him about it. Like, I'm not going to fucking ask him about it. I probably don't. Fuck no. <laughs> I, 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 like, got books that I want to do with him. Like, I'm not going to fucking bring that shit up. No, so um, whatever. Who cares? But, yeah, yeah, I really, I really don't care. Which is kind mm -hmm. of funny. Yeah, of all like the shady shit or like weird shit that people have in their closets, this is really not that bad. No. Oh my god, it's like with the whole Eliza Blue shit and uh, like finding out like fucking Cassandra Fairbanks has like porno shoots as well. Oh my god, why are so many people? Cassandra Fairbanks? I don't know that. I don't know her. Oh, she's um, she's a like culture commentator. I don't, I think she does like quote unquote journalism uh -huh. um cultural commentator has affiliated with is Timcast. she on the simpcast show with you no no she's timcast oh okay i mean i'm sure if i saw her face Probably. i'd recognize her not that i'm like oh yeah I don't, but i'm just saying it. I, I don't know the, the name that you're that you're saying right now yeah so well, she's done some some adult stuff it's a lot of people not just i'm just not talking about her it's like and then the jack murphy shit that came out good lord everyone oh my god everyone just has all this weird shit in their closet <laughs> maybe i'm just innocent i don't understand yeah i'm the, like damn i have no porn shoots in my closet for people to dig up there's so no boring. weird harnesses or fucking... None. None at all. <clears throat> Mortal V says I could show you in Ethan's chat right now if I wanted. Uh oh. Well, he didn't post a link, so... He doesn't want us plebs in his chat right now. Yeah. Plebs or plebs? Plebeans. Oh, everyone fired streams? Um, somebody's doing a Graham Hancock podcast. Eric is debating a hater. Oh, I want to see that. I'll probably do that. Oh. I'll go eat my, I'll get my salmon and go watch Eric yell at Do that. Yeah. Let me see. I burned my salmon? Yeah, you did. Can you hear that crackling? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably good. smells delicious. Oh, it's a little burnt, but that's okay. Um, just slightly. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good. I covered it this time, so it's all like juicy. Damn, that sounds delicious. You could be you could be frying up a piece of dog shit right now. <laughs> just, just but just the sound of that's like oh. I bring it to the microphone. We're turning this into a mm. ASMR video now. Mm, smell that. Smell that salmon. This one's so good. Throw some lettuce. So I was thinking, um, I mentioned it earlier when I was streaming to uh, nobody, um, doing something like this big, but with like having comic skate and then having a uh, cyber frog hanging on the cyber uh, comic skate logo and then like oh, yeah. leaving like maybe the rest of it white and like priming it so that when we bring it to Tampa, like people could come up and draw on it. Oh my God, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. did you do that? Yeah, okay. you should do it. Let's do it. Sorry, Chad, I got nothing. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Just give me a second. Matt, what sports team was that piece for? This one? Yeah. It's for several sports, actually. It's for a, uh, a media company. <laughs> Uh, that's doing uh, women's pro sports. All right. So this is going to be used in several seasons uh, with several different sports. I think it's like five different sports, like women's basketball, uh, women's tennis, women's golf. Like women, just pro sports where women are, are, are fucking pros at it, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Does that make sense? 
Patience. It's like a, a media company. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they um they're generating content. Um, I'm not sure where you'll see this. I, I guess on TV. Mm -hmm. Getting so photos they, and shit. Yeah, yeah, behind like interviews and or like yeah, the photo yeah. area. And and like, I kind of uh, put the logo to the side a little bit. Like it's, yeah, yeah. the logo is not centered. I put it to the side so that uh, you can get like two different angles on the painting. Mm -hmm. so if you like angled the photo, if you angle the camera one way, you can get like the logo. But if you angled it a different way, you can get like like textures and stuff and like a more abstract. Mm -hmm. So you get like a multi-use, multi-uses from the painting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. That's why sure. you pay the big bucks. Oh, I bet the money's good. The oh my god, this bucks. salmon skin is seared perfectly. It's fucked up because I can almost smell it. Mmm, I bet you can smell it. It'll carry it down the winds to Athens. Ugh. It's a little, it's a little like burnt on the outside, but just a little bit. It's like super soft That's on okay. the inside. A little like crispy on the outside. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Oh, Ethan is talking about, oh, he's streaming, but I didn't even post a link, I guess. What are you talking about? He's talking about the people who are messing with Shane. Oh yeah. Who's messing with Shane? Um, I don't. I heard. Uh... Is this Vicky? Remember, I, I don't know if you were in here, but we were talking earlier about like, can you tell if somebody is fucking with you on Indiegogo because, like, Vicky's name has been popping up and mm -hmm. you know, as, well, a, as a culprit. So it's like, do you know how to find out if that's her for sure? You know that she's the one flagging everybody. I don't know if it's her, but our last night on Mindstream, everyone in chat was Shane. Apparently, went on and his went live, and he was just like losing it. Like he's losing it. Somebody's messing with him, and people were saying it's big. But I don't. I don't know. I was streaming at the same time, so I didn't watch what he said. But Is they don't fuck with Shane. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, don't fuck with Shane. So I'm just like wondering, like, because I saw. Like, hey, I'm leaving. I'm burning my channel or something. So I was like, is he joking? And he said um, that in the in the DM group. I hope he's joking. Mm. Yeah, it's like, please don't crack, dude. You got this. Mm -hmm. You seem really stressed for like months now. Yeah, well, his, me shit, a little worried. his stuff is it got shadow banned, you know, mm -hmm. his, his, it's like. I mean, he's doing great, but I can probably, I can see his point of view. Like he would, um, he's like thinking about how much more money he could have made. And he's got a kid to support now. Probably yeah. pushing him the hell out. I mean, his best bet, and I'm talking out of my ass is just keep fucking going forward uh -huh. you know it's like okay that shadow band he has a website you know like uh just kind of just move forward with the next book and then mm -hmm. the next one and then the next one i don't think he's gonna quit he's just stressed no. you need a event sure sure it's just, it's, it gets a little scary when you vent online because sometimes people like use that shit against you. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, Mortal V says, if you look into it, it's people using his grievances with Disney as a way to attack Mandy due to there being another character that looks like Gemshock. Oh, because he was saying that, um, sorry, I'm eating. I'm listening. It's, um, it's, so that's it's like, super, the super kitty thing where he's like, well, uh, don't know if it's true, but it looks like it might have been um, taking some liberties and it seems really similar to Starlight like Cats. And then I guess like the aunties are going on. Well, so let me attack your friend and Gemshock looks like this or that character. 
what does the one have to do with the other? I don't know. They're just trying to hurt him. That's that's the only reason. It doesn't negate the fact that if it, it looks like the super kitty is like really is similar. And it's sort of like how many scantily clad women characters with superpowers are there out there? There's a lot, but I don't there aren't that many like superpower cat team-ups with different color with color-coded outfits and gems like that's kind of more specific than just scantily clad girl with superpowers so yeah it's I'm like I, saying, I haven't looked into it you know what i mean because i don't know it's not my problem that sounds like such a shithead thing to say that i just said that i don't mm -hmm. know sometimes i've had issues in cg and nobody's like stepped up and been like yo What's going on? You know what I mean? So it's, I'm just like letting him fight his own fight. Well, it's not our fight, but, um, yeah. you know, I'm not trying to get involved, but I'm watching it just because it's like somebody I know. And I don't want anyone to get fucked over. It's, no. uh, I don't think any of it is right. Just in general, right? So, yeah. And it, it's it's dumb. It's like, you know, and he re I think he was just pointing it out. He was like, hey, look, uh... This looks similar. And then, so the trolls are attacking him and shit. Um, trying to, I guess, I don't know what this has to do with Mandy. I haven't caught up on it, but it's just dumb. I mean, I'm kind of aware because I listened to Fowler fucking go off. Mm -hmm. He fucking went off a couple of days ago. Um, I don't want to rehash it, but... You know, he's saying that that Mandy's artist used to work for these people, and so maybe this guy like took the designs with him. But I don't know. Um, it's okay. a lot of back and forth, and and like it's 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 not my fucking problem. It's not. No, it's it's not like I don't think us talking about it is getting involved. I want to follow what happens though because it's important for somebody could be coming after us. Yeah. So I want to know what's going on because I want to have to deal with it. <clears throat> hmm. Of course. Uh oh, tidal I mean wave comics or oh, some. Some comics company, I guess, is claiming Gemshock is similar to theirs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know anything about that. I'm still out of the loop. Yeah, they... Okay, so... And this is general generality. So, like, they have something that looks really close to fucking Witchblade. Like, she has, mm -hmm. like, a gauntlet with, like, circular gems. Right? And But then she has, like, a crystalline outfit as opposed to Witchblade's uh, black shit and mm -hmm. um, yeah I can see how it's inspired by Witchblade and Big yeah Beetle. sure right and so so they have that and it's like made out of crystals and so Mandy was like showing her stuff and they like went to her and was like hey your shit kind of looks like our shit yeah and she was like the fuck out of here you pedophiles mm -hmm. and um so it's like, know, she, oh, they she, both took inspiration from Witchblade. Oh no. Yeah, basically, basically is what is what it's coming down to. I mean, I'm like, like explaining how I feel like the situation was going. That's basically what it, what it came down to. Two people were like, hey, Witchblade's pretty cool looking. Let's do this. I mean, and then and and Jim Shock like doesn't have the gauntlet. She like does other stuff with the crystals that you don't see the other girl doing. Like I think Gymshock like forms wings and shields and like uh, objects and shit, you know, at a at a crystal. Mm -hmm. Um. So I don't know. I mean, there's a couple of stuff in 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 CG that looks like some other stuff, but I'm not. I don't think it's a ripoff. So does everything else. Like I saw some dumbass on Twitter talking about how Crimstone is like, uh, Crim is, uh, well, they're like, well, Crim is like Hulk, Hulk and Tiger Blue is like um, Beast. And I'm like, okay, 
But if you like look at their actual stories and what they're like, it's like it's not just a ripoff. It's their so Tiger scary. Blue is beast. I know, right? He's okay. So he's big and he's fucking blue. never read either one of them. Apparently, exactly, that's what that's yeah. telling me. So there are all these people are fucking retarded. You're like, oh, your character looks a bit like another, therefore the whole thing is a ripoff. I mean, it's the most dumbass, like, brainlit take ever. Dude, there's but, some uh, fucking characters. Want, I mean, wanna, you want to talk about some shit? I know there's a there's a couple of CG projects where it looks like fucking King Shark and fucking Boba Fett. You know, and you're just like, yo, dude, your shit looks like Boba Fett and King Shark. And like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like, all right, man, keep fucking producing your comic book, whatever. Like, good luck with it. Like, you're not gonna be able to produce any toys because fucking DC is gonna come for you. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, we just put out a movie, Suicide Squad, with a fucking shark guy. And so you're like, yeah, I think I'm going to put out a comic book with a shark guy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe think about it a little more. Maybe. Maybe make the shark a fucking robot suit that he wears. I, I, don't, I don't know. But it's like, I don't know. It's it's like so there's like is- both things of like, yeah, some things are going to look alike. But also... Maybe double check and make sure your shit doesn't look like somebody else's stuff. Yeah, right? or I mean, it could be, it could just be you're paying homage. Like, can I talk about the shit that I'm consciously paying homage to all the time? But it's like, that's just the surface level stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I don't think she's like ripping off Witchblade. Like, she no. clearly said, you have she to read clearly the book. said. Well, she also said, like, hey, this is Witchblade inspired. Like, like looking mm-hmm. at Witchblade, that I said, that's fucking cool. And then you go make something else. Like, she admitted that. Mm-hmm. It's like Tidal Wave is, like, fucking mad that, like, somebody else is do Like, they're doing the same thing that Mandy did. Basically. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, we're, we're doing a Witchblade fucking uh, a, a book, too. Like, what the fuck? Like well, yeah, you you doing a, like a, a an inspired book, and she's doing an inspired book. Yeah, like, chat. You're off. right. They're they're just getting mad because she's almost at 100k. Yeah, they're yeah. Trying to fuck with her. You know, if we weren't making money, they wouldn't be bothering us. They mad because we're making money. That's what it is. Yeah, but there's one book. I forgot the name of it. It looks like fucking... It looks like uh, Marvel's Extreme... That Nighthawk guy. There was like a... He was from the new Squadron Supreme. And it was like a... Almost like a Batman kind of a guy. But he didn't have a cape. And he was a black guy that just like protected uh, black neighborhoods. It was kind of fucking... It was a cool idea. But I, I saw a comic book the other day, and it was like the same character, but just like with a cape. I was like, what? Why would you do that? That's just me. I'm just... Yeah. I want my shit to be super fucking, like, I don't know, unique. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Ninjas. I say that as I'm drawing ninjas. But I think like the concept you have is still just because you take something like ninjas, but you mash it with like Nam and stuff. It's not super overdone. It's not like the million and one zombie movies are like guy goes into a coma and wakes up in the zombie apocalypse. Like fucking hell, that's overdone. But Yeah. Yeah. So like did all those stories rip off each other? Probably. But they're all distinct in their own ways as well. But it's sort of like it's not just a surface level idea of it. It's how you execute it. And I think mm-hmm. like everybody has sort of common sense. Like is this just well this is a really common basic idea that a lot of people use or is this so specific like it really looks like you're you you did just rip them off and change a couple of things like fucking uh 
not just like the outfits, not just the basic concept, but their exact powers and the team makeup and like the yeah. team dynamics. Okay, then you're like you're you're not just taking a couple of cool things and making something new that's similar. No, you just like you're just like oh well, let me make my own version of this because I want to make money. Yeah, I want to make some versions of stuff, but I don't want to do it just for money. I just want to do it because I haven't seen it done yet. Mm. Like, I, hmm, see, we're streaming. I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, don't. Mmm, salmon. Mmm. I'm gonna head out in a bit. I'm gonna go. All right, I think I might take a break. Stuff. And let all this dry. I can't. I can't really fuck with this too much right now. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's looking. It's looking good. I like that magenta. It makes it pop. Right. Because mm -hmm. they were they. It's not in the uh, the sketch that I had, but they were like, "Could you add some purple to make that logo like start sticking out some?" And I was like, "You betcha." You betcha. You bet your <laughs> bottom dollar. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I'm probably not gonna have salmon. Yeah? I'm gonna have some cold pizza, maybe. Oh. Maybe That's some not cereal. As cereal. Yeah. To do that. Cereal for dinner? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm a happily married man and every family, but it's like bachelor chow. You know? It's like a. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't you have a family? What are you gonna feed the kiddo? I think they already ate. I mean, oh, okay. It's like late outside and shit. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> oh, you're just in the garage and they're doing whatever the fuck they want in the house. Is how well, yeah, my my wife knows that I was working on this and like I need to, to do as much as I can. So mm -hmm. she's in there losing her fucking mind, probably. Probably. Bless her, bless her heart. Bless her heart. All right. Mm. I'm going to go... Uh... Go get on Ethan's stream. I don't think he has a link. No, I'm good. I don't feel like streaming. I'm gonna take a break before Simcast. So I'm gonna go just chill. Word. I'm gonna shower, uh, do my show makeup and shit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, have fun on your show later. I will. Okay. All right. Good talking to you, Matt. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Later, chat. I'll see you guys in a bit. Dash? All right, guys, I'm going to go get something to eat. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Helen, oh, my God. Almost five hours, four and a half hours we've been doing this. I haven't fucking gotten anywhere with this fucking thing. Let me let's look. Yeah, it looks like shit. Looks like a bunch of jibber jabber, doesn't it? It's called an abstract painting. It all looks like shit at first. All right, well, I'm going to eat, so peace out, everybody.